So what's the deal, Aki? How many people are going on this trip? What you are witnessing can only be described as Akihisa Yoshi cornered. Oh, you want a number? I guess maybe nine? Including you. That's fine. If we rent a van, it shouldn't be a problem. So you invited seven other people? Who else is coming? Well, let me see. I invited a bunch of people that I know you love. Yuji, for example. And T. Yoshi, of course. Koda said he wanted to go. Great, who else? Right, that's only three. Um... This would be so much easier if she wasn't so weird about me being friends with girls. I can probably get away with telling her about Shoko if I pass her off as Yuji's fiance, but then there's Himiji. And what about me to me? Oh, and Aiko, I can't tell her about them! She'll cut my face off! Well, who else is coming? Um, oh sure, right. Let's see. Go ahead. You left off at Hideyoshi. It's a secret, see? No, it's not. You already told me three of them. That's right! I was just joking! It's never too late to tell the truth. Do and I'll give you a reward right on your lips. The rest of them are aliens from outer space. Very good. Close your eyes. No! What the hell are you doing? I just lied to you! I'm not worthy! Don't be modest. All people are from outer space if you think about Did it. Did I say outer space? I mean horses! I'm inviting a bunch of animals! Such cruel rejection. I'm your sister. Don't you love me? I'm sorry. It's just that the whole brother-sister kissing thing's a little... Kinky and sexy, right? Pervert alert! There's a pervert standing right in front of me! I'll fall for anything, won't you? I was like 30% joking. 30%? She was almost all percent serious. You seriously think I don't know by now what you look like when you're lying to me? <sighs> Why won't you just tell me the truth? I'm your sister. I'll tell you if you won't get mad. I won't. I promise. I'm totally cool with the whole thing as long as they're not girls, in which case I might have to cut you. Where do you think you're going? You got a date? I'm sorry. Please don't yell at me or grow fangs or get those weird swirly things around your head. I think I'll be sick. I can't believe you invited other women. It's not like that. It's just, um... I had a lot of homework, and they're the ones that usually tutor me. Besides, what was I supposed to do? We always hang out as a group together. Sorry, I didn't know it was going to be an overnight thing. And I'm just supposed to believe all that twaddle, am I? I suppose I do. <laughs> really? That's awesome! Yes, I know. You're welcome. However, if I catch you holding hands, making out, or playing hide the sausage, I won't hesitate to kill your entire family. Uh, that kind of includes you, Akira. Day of the has finally arrived. Yippee. This is perfect beach weather, don't you think so? Yep. I'm all about the bikinis that go with it. I couldn't sleep. I was so excited. I dreamt that I was a mermaid. You are such a five-year-old sometimes. It's adorable. I can't wait for you to see the new swimsuit I bought for today. What? You just bought a new swimsuit last week. Yeah, but it didn't exactly fit. Nothing personal. But did you maybe gain weight? <laughs> That's how a stud does it. 
I don't even remember what year that school swimsuit is from. Where did you even find one of these? What was that all about? Don't you know what this means? Someone in my family is beachwear delusional! Yeah, I think it might be the member who's clutching the swimsuit and quivering like a lech. This is my sister's swimsuit, FYI! That is bad, Ben. You have a sick and twisted thing for your sister's tight clothing. I'd say that's pretty whack. Shut up! You know that's not what I meant! Look, you have no right to freak out on me. You're the one who said you'd be embarrassed if I wore something too skimpy, so I brought my old swim team suit. Jumping Jack Brack! I forgot how horrible it would be to walk around with you wearing that thing! I changed my mind! I'd rather you skate out on the beach and wear that! we take it back! You're my sister and I will protect us both from all things granny! It's okay to admit you'd rather have me show more skin. You know what? You're right. I want you now! Never realized I was friends with such a pervatron. <laughs> Coming for the most creeptastic perv I've ever met in my life! You need to calm down. Sometimes, as a joke, friends call each other names. Oh, would you please stop talking to me like you know things? I guess I have no choice. I'm going to have to wear the new string bikini I bought. Oh well, that other one was too tight. My girls kept popping out. <laughs> talking about it feels great out here we picked a good spot yeah we did come on let's go change so we can swim okay this is it the day i show everyone once and for all that i am 100 percent dude i picked the right swimsuit this time bottoms no top no way they'll question me this day's gonna roll check me out i just meant to change in the car pay no attention to the awkward tan lines i'm hoping the suit will help them blend in but what do you think coda am i dead sexy Know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you take pictures of me today. As many as you want. Thanks, but no thanks. My memory is full. I know this is hard for you to believe, but I don't like that outfit. It's hot outside. My nose is dry. 28 seconds. I'm impressed, bro. That's like a record for you. That's a lot longer than last time. You should be proud. Oh, poor thing. Let me help you clean that up. You might want to stay over there. It's hot. It's so hot. Are you okay? This isn't the end. I'm going to come back as a little bird. You'll see. Stop that. It's not funny. You're going to be fine, I promise. I'll still be with you, but now I'll be able to see down your shirt from the sky and fly into the girl's locker room. And so he would continue in death as he did in life. Flying and crashing. It's true what they say. Lime goes really good with hey, coconut. Hey, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to keep you waiting. I certainly did. How is he? Any progress, or...? He's about the same, I'd say. I think you need to stop touching him. That doesn't help. <laughs> Aw, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just trying to help him keep cool, see? Maybe it's you. You look so good in your swimsuit that Coda got excited all over again. I heard that, and there is absolutely no way to prove it. <laughs> excited how? Well... The same way any guy would get excited, I guess. Gotcha. Scissors. <laughs> what the heck was that for? Much better. You're supposed to be excited about seeing me in a swimsuit, Yuji. He didn't have to go that far. You two are always hot, so it's no big deal for us. <laughs> That's so nice. Sorry, I'm blushing, but I love it when you call me hot. Yes, that was very sweet of you. Thanks. And I guess I'm just a twig walking around in a paper sack. That's not true. I mean, you're pretty scrawny overall, but some areas are a little thicker than others. Oh, you jerk face! Why don't you just come out and say it? You think I'm fat, don't you? Uh, who said anything about that? Hey! How's it going, you guys? Finally done changing. Sorry what about that. What do you think you're doing? Get back in there! Are you guys closing? Why aren't you wearing a top with that? Because this is a guy's swimsuit. It doesn't come with a top. Well, girls shouldn't be wearing guy swimsuits out here. I agree with you, but I'm not a girl. You're gonna have to come with me. Put me down! You've got it all wrong! I promise I'm a guy! Let me prove it to you! I'm sorry, Minami. Is my brother being a turd again? Do you want me to plow him? <laughs> oh, goodness. Looks like it's worse than I thought. No, it's okay. I'll just live my entire life being inadequate. I'm so sorry. I can't help myself. <gasps> Those are amazing. about that, you guys. Talk about ridiculous. What's the matter, Hideyoshi? You look upset. 
What was all that about earlier? I don't want to talk about it. Let's move on. The summer is very cruel, especially when beaches are involved. Baka and test! so exhausted already. Chasing each other with a battle do that. We have returned! Hope you're hungry. We brought you lunch. Sorry it took so long, you guys. Was it crowded? No, not exactly. Yeah, but we still totally got hit on. Which is awesome if you're into that sort of thing. It makes me ill. Yeah. Man, it must suck to be odd. You know, dudes will leave you alone if you just laugh at them. True story. <laughs> Stop right there! mother ever teach you any manners manners seriously you guys have no idea what it's like to be a girl hey you need to feel a little more threatened by this Yuji. <laughs> by what <laughs> My brain is you know i wish we could get akihisa to feel a little jealous over us wouldn't that make him even cuter good plan let's see if we can make him worry a little yeah let's so annoying. I mean, talk about a pain, right, Mizuki? Absolutely. Always bothering us with their sexy talk. So wait, you're saying you two get hit on a whole bunch? Yeah, all the time. And by God, they just want a piece of this sweet action. That's so. Then why didn't you guys act like this was the first time it ever happened? <laughs> That's not what we meant. It's just so disgusting. It always feels like the first time. Straight up. It may not make sense to you since you're all android when it comes to flirting and stuff. <laughs> That's rude. When it comes to hitting on girls, I can totally... You can what? Totally. Yes, tell us, please. That's what I thought. I bet you think hitting on girls has something to do with bruises. She's right. It's not something that comes naturally to you, so when you think you're being cute and charming, well, you're just being awkward. You can't fathom the depths of a female heart, Yuji. That's why you suck. Oh, yeah? Try saying that to my face! Everybody has his or her strengths and weaknesses. You boys just aren't good at flirting with girls. Crap. That was ten kinds of balls. It kind of feels like they were all ganging up on us. Where did they get off thinking they know how other girls see us? Right, that's what I'm saying. If I wanted to, I could hit on any girl I saw. No problemo. Huh? Ah! <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, man? losing my mind. I saw girls around him. Huh? Around Koda. He's being hit on by a bunch of girls. Yeah, you are losing your mind. I keep telling you to cut it with the crazy talk. <laughs> wow, I bet you're really good with the camera. I just take pictures for fun, mostly. He's so shy. That's adorable. And hot. <laughs> this isn't happening. Girls don't go after that guy. Yuji, what do you want? Hypothetically speaking here, do you think it could really be true? Are we the only unpopular ones? 
Don't be ridiculous! There's no way that can be right! Yeah, we're the epitome of awesomeness! <laughs> Coda is just playing off the fact that he looks like a homeless little orphan kid, that's all. And that's not our style, because we're men, right? We're men and a half, yo! Let them try to call us unpopular! Wait till they see me macking on girls like I just got out of prison! I'll hit on everything that moves! Try to keep the creepy stuff to yourself and never say that out loud again, but I'm right there with ya! Rock on! Thinking back on it... I don't know... What the hell was wrong with us? You know, we still don't have a plan on how to do this whole thing. I think we gotta take a page from Coda. The dude does score, man. So we just look for chicks who wanna get their pictures taken? Yeah, first one of us will go up to a girl and open it up by saying something like, Yo, do you want me to take your picture? Okay, it's direct. Then the other one tries to strike up a conversation while we're setting up the shot. After that, it should be a piece of cake. So, how do we get a conversation going? That's totally up to the second person, however they want to do it. If the whole thing fails, then it'd be the second person's fault. <laughs> Don't be an ass, Akihisa! Why are you running like a maniac all of a sudden? Why are you running like a coked-up cheetah? <laughs> Just let me set this up for you. <laughs> no, I'll set it up and then you can take the pick. <laughs> you just want to get there first and wedge me out of it completely. That's what you're doing! <laughs> Everybody smile big! Oh, hey there, you're a girl and I like the girls. You're a really special looking guy. I know you want me to take a picture of you all hot in your teeny bikini. I never figured they'd call the police. So, I guess we should give up the whole photography angle. Yeah. Coda's a fraud. He makes it look so easy, but it's a flippin' beating. Okay, then. Time for a new plan. What are we gonna do? Just stick to what we know. Give them some phony compliments, and then invite them back to our campsite. Yeah. Women always like to be complimented. But what are we supposed to say to them? Ah, you know, just a bunch of lies. Like telling them they look prettier than an airbrushed model on a magazine cover. Or that they should be in movies. And then, once they're distracted by their delusions of grandeur, they'll be putty in our hands! Anything for a pretty lady. Aw, that's very sweet. Yeah, and that's a righteously hot bodger sporting there. Oh, uh, I think so too. You must work out a lot. Oh, stop. You guys are embarrassing me. <laughs> you shouldn't be embarrassed by the truth, miss. That's right. We're just telling it like it is. That's all, ma'am. Heck yeah. Your curves are unstoppable. You're like... Yeah, you're just like a... Like a high-budget porno actress. She had a serious right hook on her. She punched me in the head so hard it made the bottoms of my feet hurt. I mean, how does that even happen? There they are! We missed you! What have you guys been doing? <laughs> Your faces are swollen. What happened? Nothing really happened as such, right, Yuji? Yeah, that's right, bro. We just fell and hit our face on rocks, didn't we? Oh, almost <laughs> forgot the swimming competition! Hurry up! Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why'd you have to bring up a porno flag? You said it too, or did you forget that? Hey, don't you go try to pin this on me all of a sudden! Are you looking for another skull cracking? <sighs> Let's stop. This isn't getting us anywhere. You're right. You wanna know what I think? We keep screwing things up because we're not really into these girls. I mean, since they're not our types. I think we might be unconsciously holding ourselves back from them. Of course. If we really wanted them, we could totally be up in there. Yeah, no, we're dorks. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Almost had me, though. Now what are you staring at? I've got an idea. Why don't we try one last time with them? Yeah, sounds good to me. Pardon me. Uh, so this is a little bit embarrassing, but we're kind of lost at the moment. That's right. We were looking for the public beach, but we couldn't seem to find it anywhere. Could you help us out? Oh my god, we're standing on the public beach, you idiot. Shut up. You said we got lost, so I was just rolling with it. Uh. Hold on, her hair looks different. It changed color. It's the same. 
same color that it's always been. Wow, it looks great. Danger? <laughs> I'm sorry, Akihisa. No freaking way. You would betray us? I had to do it, man. Otherwise, they were going to kill me. So I guess they knew we were talking to girls? They said it would just be the right arm. An arm is an arm, man. And I need my arm. You can't make me go back there, please. No, they said they were going to break everything else and leave you with just the right arm. This is weird. Where am I? The river sticks? That doesn't sound like fun. Come on, Akihisa. Come to our side of the river. It's nicer than it looks, I promise. Everything is better over here. <laughs> Trust me, there's no reason for you to be scared, man. This side just takes a little getting used to. No big deal. Yuji, what the hell are you doing over there? I'm here because I'm here. It's all good. Don't worry about it. There's no reason for you to be scared, I promise. Come on over. Don't be afraid. Everything is fine. Hey, where are we? I don't remember exactly, but I feel like we went through hell to get here. You had to know the girls would find out what you were up to. I mean, if you ask me, you guys are lucky to be breathing. You're right. Should be goners for sure. Akihisa and Yuji made a contest out of hitting on chicks yesterday. The girls found out and punished them somewhat severely. I've never seen someone punished as gruesomely as you were. I can hardly bear to think about it. It was just so horribly sadistic. Yeah, I'm glad I can't remember it. Me too. Although I guess we deserved whatever it was. We were being jerks. I'm just saying, the next time you're with girls, we should probably avoid flirting with other girls. <laughs> You know, now that you mention it, we might have gotten off a little easy. I don't know if I'd exactly call a near-death experience getting off easy. No, I wouldn't either, but I think I get where Aki's coming from. There might be more punishment to come. So what do you think we should do? Run? Someone say run! <gasps> We're too late. But why are you wearing yukata? Because they're holding a festival in town, silly. <laughs> so, Akihisa, what do you think? Um, they're good. You guys look so nice. Really? This is kind of my first time wearing one. Oh, yeah. You grew up in Germany. I don't know why I keep forgetting that.
That's so sweet of you to say, Yuji. Like you gave me a choice. My mother always told me to do whatever it takes to keep my man. This is weird. I thought they were all mad at us. I don't trust this. Like, not at all. Okay, everyone, are we all set? It's time for us to head over to the festival now. Akira's right! Let's go, guys! Hurry up! We don't want to be late, do we? I'm so excited right now. This is only the second Japanese festival I've been to. I don't want to miss any of it. Get a move on, boys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow! Everything is so sparkly! I know, for real. I love it. Yummy. Someone has donor kebabs here. They look good, too. Well, we should try them. If they look good, why not, right? <laughs> yep, more punishment. I want you to go buy some for me. <laughs> why did I have to agree with her? I'm going to assume you want some, too. I don't mind paying for them. That's fine. I won't argue with you. Hold on! Are you serious? You're gonna buy them? What's wrong? Did you want to pay instead? No, no, as you were. She really did forgive me. Here it is. I got us one order to split, if that's okay. There are a lot of things here I want to try, so I didn't want to fill up too soon. Yeah, good plan. I'm totally cool with that. So, how does it taste? Oh, I can't eat and walk. I'm not sure yet. I guess I don't use lamb in Japan, but it's still pretty yummy. You try. You might actually like it better this way. Oh, wow. This is really good. Oh. Aki, your face. You've got some sauce on it. Thanks. That was nice. And awkward. Akihisa! I just bought some octopus dumplings. Would you like to try some? Oh yeah, of course I would. Thanks, Himiji. One dumpling, please. Here you go. Say ah! What's wrong? I thought you wanted one. Does it not look good? It looks fine. It's not bad. <laughs> well then, ah! Pancake part is hot and creamy, and the octopus is nice and chewy. <gasps> oh, wait, Akira, please! I know that sounded sexual, but it wasn't at all, I swear! The octopus is chewy? That sexual? It's not. Are you trying to say you didn't like it? No. Would you screw up, Aki? This time. Quit freaking out, it's just a festival. You can be such a baby sometimes. Who's freaking out? You're the one shelling out at every booth. Hey, you don't know, these could have been totally free! This is only your second festival here. It's okay if you couldn't help yourself. Thank you. Cotton candy is like way delicious. Do you want to try some, Aki? What? <laughs> sure, I love that stuff. Yeah, you do. Say, ah! Uh, it's good, am I right? Yeah, it's good. Thanks, Minami. Oh, you're welcome. Yuji, would you like some of my noodles? Yeah, sure. I guess I'll have some if you don't mind. I have okonomiyaki, too. Thanks. That's very nice of you. Would you like some soda? Yes. Much appreciated. Nice. Yuji looks like he got off the hook, too. I mean, this is a festival. Why would they want to be pissed the whole time? Today rocks! Akihisa! They have baby chickens in different colors over there. There's, like, green ones and blue ones and everything. Yeah. They just hire someone to paint the babies. That's not true. It's because of their breed or something natural like that. <laughs> You two are, like, beyond stupid. Kota, what do you think about all this? <laughs> I'll color you however I like. Well, painting makes a sick kind of sense. So tell me, Aki, are you having a good time yet? Yep. And Yuji, are you having fun? Yep. Sure am. Hey, look! Akihisa! It turns out the festival is throwing a special event later on today. It's here to win our first ever Summer Miss Yukata beauty pageant. Nice beauty pageant. We should totally go watch that. My camera and I are up for it. Alrighty then, how about we all go? Better yet, why don't we have everyone just compete in the thing? <laughs> well, I mean, you don't have to, obviously, but um, I just thought it'd be a nice memory of the day and stuff, that's all. <laughs> Great idea. What? Really? Yes, of course. We should all do this together. Something we are sure to never forget. All right, let's compete in the pageant. 
Let's have everyone here compete. Run! Where are you off to in such a hurry? You scared? We're going to participate in the beauty pageant. Isn't that right, Yuji? What? Don't take this personally, but you guys aren't making any sense, like, at all. For real. What the hell is going on? Hitting on girls earlier. Surely you didn't believe we were finished with you boys yet. You should know by now that we would make you pay severely for what you did. <laughs> hey, boys, don't worry. I totally brought my makeup kit with me tonight. <laughs> no way! I'm super tall. I'd never pass as a woman. I think making Akihisa dress up as a chick is punishment enough for both of us. What? Don't you use me to try to get out of this? If anyone's dressing up, it's you! Please stop fighting. Neither one of you is going to win. You guys should follow Koda's lead. He's picking his cross-dressing like a man. I think this is what they mean by cruel and unusual. I'm sorry. I have such a flair for the dramatic. I probably overdid it with the makeup, but what are you gonna do? I just wish you weren't so excited about doing it. I don't like this at all. Where'd they come up with Komi? I hate it. Oh, please. What are you complaining about? On top of looking like a total freak, I'm supposed to act like a damn foreigner! Well, the only way anyone would ever believe someone as big as you was a chick is if you tell them you're an international athlete. Every single one of you looks just adorable! That's right. One of you could totally win this. I can't tell you how happy it makes me to see my little brother grow up to be such a pretty girl. I can't tell you how not happy it makes me to hear you say that. You need to work on your sex appeal, Yuji. I do not! I'm sexy as hell! Hey, I have a question. I didn't do anything. Why do I have to compete in the pageant? Because that's the plot in this episode. Roll with it. Baka and test! And now, it's time to start our first ever Summer Miss Yukata Beauty Contest! As a commentator, we have Mr. Obata, who's wearing his yukata today. He is also our sponsor and judge. I'm excited to be here, but I'm even more excited to see all the pretty ladies. You're gonna do great. I just know it. <laughs> Stop stressing. No one will find out the truth. Yuji, if you believe in yourself, you can win. Are you kidding me? I'll record the whole thing. This time you're the one on camera. I hate you. We make sure we lose this thing fast, then we roll. Yeah. I got it! Why don't we just tell them we're guys? We can't do that. Yeah, like, absolutely can't. What if someone we know, like someone from school, is in the audience? Think about it for just a second. Imagine our class found out we were dressed up like chicks. And not only were we dolled up from head to toe, but we were so confident in our hotness, we actually entered a contest to prove it. No, that's social suicide! I finally got popular! I can't go back to being a no uh, your idea of popular and mine are two different things. Focus. There's only one way we're gonna get out of this massive ball of suck. We can't allow ourselves to make it past the first round, and no one can find out we're guys! Our time has come! This is our battle for manhood! First up tonight, we have lovely contestant number one. Please take the stage. Okay, what do I do now? Well, sweetie, want to tell us your name? Just look at the floor and be as quiet as I can. Um, hello. My name is Akiko Yoshi. Perfect. Now, it sounds like you might be a little bit shy, Miss Akiko. Shyness usually means a girl is pure and innocent. I'm going to give her a high score. Why? Do you have any special talent? Oh, I can't lie about this. What if they start asking me questions about the talent? I guess I'd have to say cooking. I'm good at paella and spaghetti carbonara, too. So, do you mostly cook at home? Uh-huh. I cook almost every single day. A looker and a cooker. Don't see that much these days. Now tell us, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> no, <laughs> no boyfriend! Well, that is good news for all the guys in the audience. Mr. Obata. What's your opinion on that? If you give me your phone number and let me call you, I promise to give you money to spend on whatever you want. So you know, I'd like to punch him for saying that, but he is our sponsor. Now, Miss Akiko, what do you like most about the yukata you're wearing for us today? I like about it? Well, it's very modest, so it hides my body. Interesting. 
So then, Mr. Obata, have any questions about her manner of wearing yukata? Yes, I do! I want to know if she's wearing any underwear! Underwear? Like panties? No fucking way! I don't wear that stuff! Thank you for answering that wildly inappropriate question! You can leave the stage now. Nice score, man. They like you. I hate you. Please, tell us your name. Yeah, okay. I am Komi Tuchia. And did you come here to swim today? I did. Great. Next question. Do you often wear yukata? I don't. Did you come here alone, or are you here with friends? With friends. So are they cheering you on in the audience? No, they're not. Hmm. Okay, besides yukata, what are your favorite kinds of clothing? Silk Chinese dresses, kimonos, an outfit for race car girls, cheerleaders, nurses, flight attendants, waitresses at old school diners, and police women. Also, any kind of leotard, tick power suits, any schoolgirl uniform, shrine maiden outfits, maid uniforms, and tennis outfits. Uh, I mean, nothing much. Well, that was unexpected. Apparently, the short answer sweetheart enjoys costumes almost as much as the audience enjoys her. No, forget I said anything. Please, calm down. This is quite a reaction. This cutie's definitely making it to the finals. Please stop. You don't have to cheer for me. Your plan backfire on you, Comey? I hate you, and I hate this place. I'm Hong Shong Li. It is so nice to meet you all. We might have a real-life Amazonian woman on our hands. What do you think, Mr. Obata? I love the tall ones. I'm entranced. Some might call it a fetish, but it's simply respect for strong women. What? She has the highest score of all of our contestants so far. Now then, do you have any, uh, where are you going? We'll be married in the spring and spend our honeymoon in Cambodia. We're from different cultures. Our families would never approve. The forbidden aspect of our love only makes it stronger. Do you not agree, dear? What to love? What are you talking about? You'll feel the same way I do someday. Just have faith. The only thing I have faith in is that I'm about to kick your ass. There's no need to be afraid, darling. We can start off as friends. I'll take care of you for the rest of your life. You'll want for nothing. Enough! Don't say I didn't warn you. You asked for it. You asked for it? I'm practically begging for it. You can do anything you want. Affairs will not be permitted. Shoko, no! What about any of this? Is it a bad? I'm gonna need therapy now. Well, on the bright side, you could say we had an unforgettable summer. Yeah, except I want to forget it. It was probably for the best the contest got canceled. I don't think that creepy sponsor guy would agree with you. Huh, maybe we went a teensy bit overboard? What do you think? Should we let them off the hook now? Perhaps. I'm not opposed to it. They all look pretty sorry if you ask me. Why don't we make an exception and forgive them this time, okay? <sighs> you know, I wonder who would have won the pageant if it didn't get all exploded. Don't you? I don't know. Hideyoshi seems the most appropriate choice. I don't understand. Why am I the most appropriate choice? I'm a guy, too. And you had the highest score. My heart did a little flutter thing when I thought Kota dressed up like a girl. What about you, Akira? It was fun. I mean, I'm used to Aki wearing girls' clothes, but it was still nice to see the other two embrace their cross-dressing selves. What are you talking about, crazy? I don't ever wear chick clothing! Oh, don't be ridiculous, Aki, my darling. You wore a skirt again last night. I swear you have the worst memory. Of course, you were asleep at the time. You're my sister! What did you do to me while I was sleeping? Aki, calm down. I am halfway lying about this. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, you schizo? Tell the truth! What did you do to me? I didn't do anything. I couldn't get it up past your knees. Can you let that halfway on? If you'd rather, we can say it was halfway off instead. <laughs> okay, guys. The food's ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm starving. starving. This looks so delicious! Seriously, Sakamoto is really good at grilling. My future husband, I'm so proud. I wanted to cook too, but Akihisa wouldn't let me help. It's not like I was gonna accidentally kill someone with a kitchen knife. That wasn't what we were afraid of, Himeji. The problem was you could still have killed us without even touching a knife. If we ate what she cooks, we're dead. My tongue just curled back in my throat. The woman cannot be allowed near a kitchen. I have an idea. Why don't we have a cooking competition between all the girls? And the guys can judge it and stuff. That's the worst idea, idea ever! Oh, I like it! But cooking's so subjective. How do we decide who the winner is? <laughs> if they're going for a KO, I know who'd win. 
We sure did stuff our faces, didn't we? We did, yeah. Call me crazy, though, I'm still hungry. Too bad, there's no food left to cook. Sure there is, man. It's right in front of you. All I see is ugly. It's called the ocean, you nimrod. Fresh clams are totally out of this world when they're grilled. Oh, yeah. You know, now that I think of it, <laughs> I baked some madelines at home, so we could eat those if you wanted. Come on, Yuji! Let's go find us some clams! Yeah, clams! Clams are good! We should find some! We can get so many that we'll never be able to eat them all! Hey, so would you like to join me on the beach, Coda? We can help them! Yes, I love clams! Weird, I wonder what that was all about. There's no telling. There, guys. So, what's the story with those madelines? Oh, yeah. Well, I did make a dozen of them, but I forgot that I forgot to bring them. They're still sitting at home. Bummer, I was looking forward to something sweet. We can do this, guys. Um, they're sleeping like little babies. Well, considering who they are, that seems fairly appropriate. Yeah, right? Who knew they could look so innocent, though? I know! They look so adorable! They must be tired after last night. It was crazy. I'm glad everyone had such a good time, though. You know what's weird? They fell asleep almost immediately. They were stumbling around before they could even get in the car. When they were eating breakfast, they had lots of energy, but like the next second, they were all falling over. They were just really excited about eating, I guess. Yeah, seriously. But that didn't mean they had to eat all of our food, too. It kind of sucks we don't get to chat with them on the way back. I agree. They fell asleep so fast, I didn't get the chance to ask how they liked breakfast. They don't even know I was the one who made it. Than it looks, yes. There's no need to be scared, it just takes a little getting used to. Ugh, Hideyoshi, I've got remedial. Huh? Uh, you okay? Uh, what's your problem? It's just that there's something different about you today. What? There is? Weird. I mean, I'm exactly the same as always. I'm the same height, aren't I? And I've got the same face. So what's your problem, dude man bro? Mm, I'm not sure why, but you don't seem as girlish and cute as usual. <laughs> Tell me, Miss Takahashi. Tell me you've got some progress to report. Well, Principal, how would you feel about Yuko Kinoshita from Class A? She's one of our brightest students and quite outgoing. Go on. Her twin brother Hideyoshi manages the local opera from time to time, even though he's a Class F student. So it's probably safe to assume that Yuko is a talented singer as well. Good. It's nice to know that we have at least one genuinely multi-talented student at this school. Indeed. You could pretty much create a checklist for the model student patterned after her. Outgoing, <laughs> courteous, intelligent, good-looking, <laughs> talented. Life would be pointless without hot boys. Especially the scene where Yuichi pins Shinji to the ground. Wait! I don't have time for this now. I'm home. What's up, sis? Is something wrong? Or are you just finally sick of your favorite gay book? We've got like the same genetic structure, right? So how come you can do things that I can't? What the crap are you talking about? Today in class, Miss Takahashi picked me, of all people, to perform the school song in a new promotional video for the Academy. Are you serious? You're like the most tone-deaf person I've ever met in my life, and you have no sense of rhythm at all. What's wrong with you? It's like you want to get punched. If you're so worried about it, why don't you just tell them no? Absolutely not! I have to protect my image as an honor student who rocks at everything. That's a pretty hardcore case of vanity. Don't act like it doesn't run in the family. You just act out your roles on the stage, while I spend every day of my life acting out the role of a perfect student. Hmm. Well, when you say it like that, I guess we aren't really all that different. Of course we aren't. Can't believe I'm saying it out loud, but the two of us are... <laughs> Identical! Correct. If you're referring to my skills as a thespian, then wait a minute. Come on, brother. Don't you want to help your sister out of a bad situation? 
as a favor? A favor? How is it a favor if you're threatening my life? I cannot believe I let you talk me into doing this, Hugo. I'm going to your idiot class for you, so what's the problem, girly man? For one, what did the people in my class figure it out? Who cares if they do? Um, me? Come on, it's bad enough the entire school is already convinced I'm a girl. Then it sounds to me like they'll think everything is perfectly normal. Here, pin this on your shirt. Why? What is that thing? It's just a hidden microphone. I need to make sure I can keep tabs on how everything is going. Seriously? Where did you even get something like this? From someone in your class. Hello, new picture. This disaster of a room is the equivalent of a sinking ship. <laughs> Sagawa's trying to run! He violated our contract by approaching a female! He's a traitor! Capture the traitor! I hear we're doing worksheets today. Ah, you don't say. You hear about the jackass moves Sugawa made? Urgent report! We've got breaking news! We have new info on the girl Sugawa approach! She's not interested in him! In fact, all she would say to him is tell me about Aki! I repeat, she only wants Later, to grab him! him! The female is interested in Aki! Uh, it's like a plague of idiots. Oh, yeah. That reminds me, I'd better check in. Thanks, Yuko. I appreciate it. Who is that? Kubo? It's just good to know I'm not the only one. Aw, you don't have to thank me. Not the only one? What are they talking about? Well, I never imagined I'd find a classmate who shared the same feelings. And I'm kind of surprised it's you. <coughs> have you always been interested in homosexuality? <coughs> uh, Hideyoshi, is there something wrong? This, come with me! You and I need to talk uh, about what? Hey, sis, I mean Hideyoshi! So, Hideyoshi, why don't you try telling me exactly what you and Kubo were talking about back there? It was just casual small talk. Ha! Ah, small talk that made me sound like an aficionado of all things gay! Oh, yeah, you read all those books. What? How stupid are you? That is totally not the same thing! What you told Kubo in there makes it sound like I've got the hots for other girls, you idiot! No, I swear that's not what I meant! And I swear, if you cause one more misunderstanding... Okay, message received. Message received, huh? We'll see. Yuko, may we speak? Sure, what's up? Shoko? All right, Hideyoshi, your life is on the line here. Your skirt, it's flipped up in the back. What? Run! Thanks for telling me, Shoko. It's cool. Not a big deal. But... Your skirt. It's all right. It is? I've actually got something on beneath it today, so it's all good. We need to talk, sis! Okay. Now what's your excuse? It came out all wrong. What I was trying to explain to her is it's okay because I'm wearing leggings. Is that so? Well, you made it out to sound like I don't normally wear panties! Well, that's not what I meant, so calm down. That's no excuse! Don't say dumb things and fix your skirt! I'll try. It's just that your skirt is a little too big on me around the waist. Okay, no more malfunctions and I won't say anything dumb. Last chance. Um, hi, Yuko. Who's this guy? My name is Koji Yokomizo. Koji Yokomizo? I've never heard of him. I... I love you. Will you... please go out with me? He loves me? What do I do? I mean, I'm flattered, but still... Thank you, Koji, but you're just not my type. Good job! Nicely handled! I'm not? Can I ask what your type is, then? Well, if I had to say... I, uh... What? I what? I guess... In terms of attraction, I'm fond of very young boys. Oh my god! I don't like other girls! I wear panties every day and I'm definitely not a pedophile! How the hell am I supposed to know that with the types of books you read? Those are works of fiction, you moron! And the things that I choose to read at home are meant to stay inside our home! I got it. I promise. I'll act exactly like you do from now on. Ah, <sighs> uh, Yoshi. Oh, uh, hey, Akihisa, shouldn't you be hiding somewhere from those people? Nope. Those guys found out that Koji confessed his love to your sister earlier, so we're trying to capture him now. Oh, I see. Poor Koji. I think he's actually having a worse day than I am. 
That dumbass never learns, does he? Huh? I can't believe he'd actually try to get your sister to go out with him just because you turned him down. <laughs> I take back my sympathy. Oh, on the subject of your sister. Yuko's pretty incredible, isn't she? What? Where's this coming from? Look at her. She's so cute. And she's really smart, too. Not to mention a stellar athlete. You should be proud of her. You really think so? Yeah, and on top of that, she's pretty no matter what she's doing. about a major waist. <laughs> Word is she's freaky deaky. I heard she's a giant <laughs> lesbo and she never wears any panties. Why would you believe that? What the? What's wrong? It doesn't make any sense, but I swear I can mainly feel the shape of some breasts right now. What do you mean by faintly? There are definitely breasts there! <sighs> so for some strange reason, there's a rumor going around that my breasts are definitely beginning to develop. Well, that's funny. Because there's a rumor going around that I'm into girls, yet attracted to little boys, and that I wander around without wearing underwear. Seems a little unfair. I mean, they're never gonna stop treating me like a girl now, are they? Yeah, but they already treat you like that. They'll treat me like a triple threat pervert. We just have to live with her. Exactly. There's no point in getting upset. There are a million other rumors at our school to distract people anyway. Baka and test. One year in the past. Everybody freeze! <laughs> Put all of your bags on the desks and open them up so I can see inside. Resistance is futile. Sakamoto, what are you trying to hide in your pocket? Crap. I'll be confiscating this. Oh, come on! This is so not fair! Yoshi, change into your gym clothes so I can search your civvies. No way! That is some hardcore suspicion, mister. I mean, come on, can't you even try to trust us? Oh, hey, Akihisa, you dropped your game console. Oh, hey, thanks, Yuji. I am not hiding anything, and I resent this interrogation! You just saved me a step, kid. Summoning my avatar! Summon! Today is a full day of avatar training for year one students. Oh, man. We've had nothing but bad luck lately. Crap. I just bought that MP3 player. Right? He confiscated my props and costumes, too. Yeah, you got up easy. He took my cell phone, game console, video What is the point of even bringing all of that stuff with you to school? Hey, looks like it's Imogi's turn next. Dude, are you passing up the chance to take a picture of her? My camera got confiscated. Oh, man, that sucks. It's gonna be tough to get another picture of her in her gym clothes since she's in a different class. I'm summoning my avatar! Summon! How can anyone not like a girl that cute? And that smart? Don't you know her or something? Could have sworn you told me that one time. That's right. She and I were in the same elementary school class together way back when. But we haven't talked at all since then. Next! Akihisa Yoshi! Okay... Yoshi will be fighting... Shimada! Shimada! Snap out of it! Uh, yes, sir! Aki? You were in kind of a daze there. You okay, Shimada? You eating anything today? 
I don't need to stuff my face like you. Huh? I know what's going on. You're worried about fighting me because you wound up with a crappy avatar, didn't you? I'm actually glad it's you I'm fighting. Know why? Because I'm pretty sure beating you up is going to feel awesome. Wait! Our avatars are supposed to beat each other up, not us! That's true. The two of us aren't going to beat each other up. Thank you. Good to hear. It's just me, not the two of us. I'll be doing the beating up. <laughs> Shamada. See? There, it's against the rope. <laughs> just this once. Sure! For real? This is shaping up to be the worst school year in history. Whoa, it's Himiji. All right, time to act like a man and talk to her. It's just too sickeningly cute. I can't take it, Richard. I wish I could, but... Excuse me, what's the problem here? Well, this young lady is pretty desperate for me to sell her that stuffed toy in the window display, but she doesn't have enough money for it. So, why is it so important for you to have that one? Because I don't want my older sister to keep on being so sad. Your older sister? That's right. I have to get it for her. She told me one time that she really wanted it. So... Oh, I see. You were thinking it might cheer her up if you give her a present, huh? Mm -hmm. I know she's been having a tough time at school since we just moved here. But she... She still does all the chores. She does all the cleaning and the laundry. And she always makes time to play with me. <laughs> oh, no! Please stop crying! Maybe I can do something to help you. You really mean it? Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Thank you very much! Um, sir, how much is the stuffed toy that she wants? 25,000 yen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really did want to help, but it's impossible. <gasps> Wait, I forgot! I've already got 10,000 yen! If I had my entire fortune of 1,000 yen to put 10,000 yen, we've only got 11,000. Which means we'd still have to find a way to come up with the other half of the 25,000. You're not good with math, are you? In that case, you could cut the toy into pieces. And then sell us one half of it. I'm getting a little worried about the state of education these days. You're a little stupid, huh? Well, that should give us enough time to come up with the rest. But then, what happens if we don't? It could be tough. That is a lot of money to gather. That's about the total worth of everything that got confiscated from me. Perfect! Did you have an idea? Tell you what, meet me in this park at the same time tomorrow. Can you do that? Meet here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be here. Awesome. <laughs> you want to take back all of our stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna need you guys to help me pull it off. We've gotta get a hold of the key to Iron Man's locker if we're gonna do it. He keeps that key in his jacket pocket. So not a problem. All we've gotta do is douse him with a big old bucket of water. We wait for him to change his clothes, right? And then we just take it from his pocket. You can do it, Akihisa. Just don't get killed. Me? Target approaching. Don't screw up! Stop! I thought you guys were gonna help me! It's now or never. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, that's okay. Wait, you got one? 
Uh-huh. A really nice high school girl showed up and gave it to me before you got here. A high school girl? That's funny. Yeah. She told me to give the toy to my sister, but she also told me that I could keep it for myself if you brought the big one for her instead. We'd both have one. Uh, well, I guess that means this one's for you. It is? Really? Yep. And then this one is for your sister. <gasps> You're right, and this will cheer her up for you. Um, can you, uh, can you squat down for a second? Uh, you mean like this? Thank you for helping me! You're the best! <laughs> you know what? You may be stupid, but I like you because you're so nice. And I've made up my mind. As soon as I get old enough, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> Listen closely. There was an incident yesterday. Someone stole all of the confiscated material and my own personal books out of my locker. This individual was so shameless and cocky that he openly presented his student ID when he pawned off my old books and his video games. Yoshi, what do you think of that? Yeah, that is a cocky move. Indeed it is. <laughs> Yoshi, prepare yourself for doom. I'm sorry, I had a good reason. You have finally earned the title this institution reserves for true idiots. Akihisa Yoshi. From now on, you are a probationary student. Except for you! What? How did you... Hopefully this will be enough to cheer you up some. Thank you, Hazuki. This cheers me up a lot. <laughs> it's tough moving to a new place, but things don't have to be bad. Yeah. We picked up the language quickly. Besides... Besides? I'm kind of interested in someone. There's a boy that I think I like. What? Tell me about him! <laughs> well, we're in the same class together. And he's probably one of the stupidest people I've met. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! You have to dress up like a girl if I win! <laughs> you're pretty funny sometimes. What will be funnier is when I win and you're dressed up like a girl! <laughs> Such a kid. I'm not kidding. I really want you to do this for me. That's weird. How do I always end up in these situations? It all began exactly one hour and 15 seconds ago. Hey, Yuji, do you want to play Doubt It? Wow, you're a brave one today. Seriously, even after you lost the other day and had to buy all of his burgers, are you sure about this? I could go for that. <laughs> Please, I'm getting my revenge on today. What revenge? Just give me your wallet. <laughs> that way I can buy whatever I want for lunch. Dream on. So, same rules as before, right? And now, Class F's rules for the game entitled, I doubt it. Each player plays a card face down. Ace! They call out the card they played. The other players decide if they are telling the truth. If someone thinks they're lying, they show this by saying... Doubt it! If the person who played the card was lying, they must collect all the cards previously played. If they were telling the truth, the person who called Doubt It has to collect the cards. This continues until all the cards are played. Doubt It! Doubt It! Usually, the first person to get rid of all their cards wins the game. Doubt It! There's also an extra Class F special rule. I'm getting to it. Class F has a special rule. The winner is determined when a player is left with two cards. It helps the game move a lot faster. The key is to make sure you go as close to last as possible. Normally, the game starts at the lowest number possible, but Class F players start wherever they want. Think hard, dude. You could be digging your own grave. <laughs> All right. I'm up first. Everyone ready? Ace. That means I'm next, right? Two. Three. Oh, crap. It's my turn. Four. Doubt, Doubt it. it. What? I didn't even get to finish saying the number. It was obvious you were lying. Neo crap kind of gave you away. Because <laughs> you're no good at card games. 
You've got to be kidding. I'm a master at playing cards. I lost that hand on purpose. It's called strategy. <laughs> Every single one of you was lying. That sucks! Tick tock. Okay, this is it. No more screwing around. It's go time. Three. Four. <laughs> Another four already, Akihisa? I doubt it. Idiot! Why don't you suck on that? No way! Did you just hold on to the four from the last round or something? So it was a setup then? Not bad. <laughs> no one needs to know that I just didn't realize I had a four the first time. Tick tock. Finally down to six cards. Yoshi's only got four left. So it's between him and me, I guess. What are those two planning? Oh, good, I have a six. Kota, you're up. Have you got a seven? Seven! I meant to say I doubt that. Nice move. He's trying to make us paranoid, so we'll say doubt it without thinking. Okay, I... Hi, guys. What kind of game are you playing over there? Oh, hey, Himiji. What are you still doing here? One of my teachers needed help after class, so I stayed. I'm glad I did, too, because he gave me this as a reward. They look really yummy. Do you guys want to try some? That does look good, but... We're in the middle of I doubt it. How about afterwards? We're each betting that... Uh, I shouldn't say betting. It sounds like gambling. Did I say betting? I didn't mean betting. I just meant that the loser gets a penalty, that's all. Oh, a penalty? What's that mean? Oh, you know. Every time you lose, you have to take something off. Like clothes? You're beautiful. No, Akisa. Please. seeing anything forbidden. We're all guys here. Doubt it! Whoa! Why are you giving me all those cards? I didn't even call anything. Even if it is just you guys, it's still inappropriate. Why don't we have a chocolate picnic and chat? Get to know each other. And stuff. Okay, fine, we will. But after this game, all right? I'll kick their tails as quick as I can. Um, Imogi? You okay? Right, so this is an eight. Nine. This is ten. Jack. Queen of hearts. I doubt it, Hideyoshi. Uh, I guess that means you have all the queens, don't you? Oh well. Hey, we're all guys, so this isn't a big deal, right? Here it goes. <laughs> What's the matter? You chickening out? wrong with Imogi. I don't know what, though. It's like she's possessed or something. Wait. Could be. Holy crap. Did you see that? Hideyoshi tried to take his clothes off in front of you, Akihisa. I don't know why he'd do a thing like that. This is insane. It's those chocolates. She's drunk up whatever's in them. Why are you making a shark face, Akihisa? Uh, I'm just upset because we don't have enough players anymore. It looks like the game's over now. No! We don't have to stop playing the game at all. We still have four players, and that's enough, right? No, we don't. Yes, we do. Shoko, when the H did you get here? If your clothes are to be forcefully stripped off the floor, it's your fiancé, I should be there. I don't think there's any way you could get more wrong into one sentence. I've got an idea. Why don't we play boys team versus girls? I like that. We can finish a lot quicker that way, too. Uh, what are you doing? Can't help it, dude. Let's just get this over with quickly and bounce. Yeah, but we can't let them take their clothes off. That's wrong. We won't. They're gonna start feeling uncomfortable and want to stop playing. I get you. Let's do this thing. You can't just take off a sock, Aki. It's not fair. Yuji, I expected more out of you. Let's stop playing. You win. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? We just started. Yeah, but Shoko's really tired, right? Double up. Look. You don't want us to get naked in front of you guys, right? 
Chased by girls with school uniforms, and I don't even care to know why. I enjoy bringing up, but now we can move forward. One other thing I must insist on, keep Class A and Himiji out of this. Wait, that's me, but I wanted to help too. Too bad. Aw, oh, that sucks. Well, we'll miss you. I do appreciate your cooperation in this matter. I'll go ahead and count you all in. Wait just a minute. That's going to be a pain. Why do we have to do this again? I mean, probationary students already have so many chores to do. There might not be enough time. However, there's plenty of time to run around the hallways in your underwear. Is that correct? I'm not completely heartless. I suppose it would be fair to compensate you in some way. A couple of lunch tickets or a coupon book should be enough, yes? Sweet! All right, everyone. I'll create a mock field out of the school building for you to practice on. First up will be... Korasuchiya, Kenoshita, then Shimada, Yoshi, of course, and Sakamoto. Now, do not let me down. Wait just a second. I've got high scores. How come I'm being punished with these losers? You ask me that as though you believe I honestly care. Hey! The 
This is so stupid. Yeah, it is. Can you stop whining? It's not helping us get this done any faster. Now, come on. We just have to summon them, that right? That's the impression I got. Yeah, me too. Bring it! Summon! summon. Agasaurus said the new update was for usability improvements, right? I need advice. Something really strange happened this morning, and I don't know what to do. Uh, what happened? What were you just talking about? Uh, are you talking to me? I didn't say anything. My neighbor told me he's in love with me, which is courageous, but also kind of weird, you know? Whoa! You mean the guy outside our school admitted he had a crush on you? That's great! Does that happen to you a lot? Of course not. I'm a guy, remember? Why would that happen to me? Same time this month. Hideyoshi doesn't like to talk about that stuff. That's true. He's very secretive when it comes to his love life. What are you guys talking about? I don't have any secrets. Okay, she's like, she believes me. And it's good out there. <laughs> Why be quiet? I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, I have a question. Got a sec? Maybe. Do you want to talk dirty? I'm all about it. <laughs> Not that I'm opposed to that kind of thing at all, but this happens to be about something different. Sorry, I'm only interested in what's under your skirt. <laughs> Mess around, does he? At least he's funny. Will you stop what's under your skirt? What's under your skirt? It's his avatar, Fuse, you know. <laughs> you gotta love his honesty. I think I might want to play with him a little. So you wanna see what's under my skirt, do you? No, not even a little bit. Under your skirt lies the doorway to all my hopes and dreams. I wanna see all you have to offer. There's no skirt I don't want to explore. I don't care if they're long and straight, tight, mini, flared, pleated. They're all exceptional. Don't try to trick me with those gulags, though. I don't know what those things are, but they are not skirts. Please don't listen to this guy. Hmm. Yeah. They're saying what their summoners are thinking. <laughs> oh, I actually touched a avatar with my hands. This is gonna get way crazy. All right, hand that little brat over. Mm. No, I'm staying right here with Aki. So not only do they talk, they're allowed to disobey us? They're like real-life sticky children with opinions. That's it. They're like kids. Pick me up! Pick me no up! No touching! Let go of him right now! No! Hey, please don't worry about it. Believe it or not, I'm used to this sort of thing. It's totally fine. Huh? You're used to what? Well, kids really like me for some reason. Yeah, because they feel like they can relate to you. Oh, whatever, Kichi. Pay attention to me now! Right, I'm sorry. You know what? But I'm a little mean to you. It's only because... Because I love you. What field did you hatch from? Are you trying to ruin me? Aki, what's the matter? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You're not even listening to me. I'm sorry. It's a good thing I don't have any secrets. Because that little brat would just... So yesterday, this girl from first year told me she's in love with me. I'm sorry. Uh, it's nothing. I was just mumbling. Hey, can you read this for me by any chance? Uh, yeah. Sure. Kaku summon die, I think. That's right. You read it perfectly. <laughs> no! Why is he here? Mother of crap! I'm sorry, Akiki stuff. But there's something I've always been curious about, and I thought maybe this would do it. Nice work, Mizuki. So spit it all out. Who do you like? Is it someone in this room? I need a distraction! Someone distract me! <laughs> no way! Oh, man, no now I can't use that idiot. idiot. You're, You're the, the one that's, that's an idiot! idiot. What you say? <laughs> okay, calm down. Oh, Mold, I'm so cold. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I usually wear leggings under my skirt. But that's not the case today. <laughs> like we even care. All of my up! This isn't going to end well, is it? Speak for yourself. I'm frosty. Leave it to me. I'll do it. Why does he want to ruin my entire life? Aki, come here! I need to talk to you. Me too. 
I have a question I want to ask. Hey, Uchi. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> That's what you get for having a brain full of smuttiness. I hope you both have learned a few things. I don't wear leggings with my skirts either, you know. Oh, man, what a riot. That was hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Probably the worst thing you've ever done. <laughs> about that. I overslept this morning, so I was running late. Left the house without a bra. Please stop! We can't take You're it! You're not wearing a bra! Yuji. No, it's not what you think. I'm a guy. I can't help it. Come here. What are you doing? Let me go. I said I was sorry. Are you happy? And why would I be happy? This means nothing. <laughs> I am not happy! You could have fooled me. I'd say you're in love. You're the coolest guy I know! I won't tell if I can't see straight! But that's okay, because look what I got, right? We will return in a moment. I'm not saying it's bad, but the timing has to be right. You can't jump into that sort of thing. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. It takes time. You have to get to know each other first, and you should be in love. Oh, yeah. Hockey loves me! <laughs> Yo, what's going on? I know this seems completely random, but I still want to know. Is there anyone you like? Where is, where is, is this, this coming, coming from? from? I'm sorry, please forgive me. You're probably not in the mood to talk about who you're interested in after everything that's happened so far today. What do you mean? Let me just try asking a different way. Shh, not again. I won't let her trick me. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anyone you know that you like more than others? Yeah, sure. I mean, Saman in Class G is pretty cool. Wait, hold on. I don't know anyone named Saman. <laughs> now, what were we talking about? Who in the school we like? This isn't fair. You tricked me. What's the matter, Himaji? Are you trying to say you have secrets you don't want anyone to know about? No, it's totally okay. I don't have any secrets. But if I'm being honest, when we were talking about having naughty thoughts, by the suspiciously supportive girls in my class. Aki, can we do it? Aki, he said, please, I'm begging you. Please, can we do it? I'm sorry. I can't. But why? I don't understand. You mean, you don't want to? It's not that. I just can't. Well, then, if that's what you really want, we'll just have to do it with Kota instead. Did you hear what Aki just told us? You get one more. <laughs> this is called Ishidaki. It's a form of torture used in the Edo era. Affairs will not be permitted. <laughs> now it's your turn for more Aki Hisa. <laughs> wow, the girls are kind of ballsy tonight. Earlier that it was the day before their academic training camp. Akihisa received an anonymous letter. Within it was a message. A message that would blow our little anti-hero's mind. Dear Akihisa, I know your secret. Why would someone do this to me? What's wrong, Akihisa? You seem kind of bummed out this morning. <laughs> what? No, nothing's wrong! Why are you acting weird this time, and what's behind your back? My back? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey. You must be hiding a love letter, yeah? Why would you ever say something like that? You know how these guys get. Besides that, who would give you a love letter? Talk about ridiculous. Talk about your face. People send me letters day to day. <laughs> Next time you're dead. Please forgive me, Miss Minami. Now why don't you try telling the truth for once? All right, I was hiding a letter from you. It was bla Wait, I don't think you're supposed to tell people when you're getting blackmailed. The bad guys always say not to on TV. Blah what? Eh? What blah what? When humans are in stress mode, their synapses fire randomly, causing a scattered thought pattern. This is called a kaleidoscope of memories. Yes, uh, 
Black Competitive Swimwear Society invitation was what I was hiding. What? Akihisa had watched a documentary called Competitive Swimmer 24-Hour Close-Up the night before. Okay, so are you gonna go? Maybe, yes, I don't know. I think they're cool. Gee. Oh, crap. I'm getting close to that point of no return thing. What do you find so cool about competitive swimmers? Cocky, what makes them cool? I like what they wear. Perfect! Now I sound like a total weirdo! Minami, everything he just said was a lie. What? That stupid story sounded so real I almost believed him. If you don't tell me the truth this time, you're gonna pay. Spit it out, jerky! Okay. I might have gotten a blackmail note this morning. Oh, well that's a relief. What does this might be a blackmail note say? Oh. Stop trying to get closer to the girls who are always around you or else. That's all. Whoa. If you ask me, it sounds like the blackmailer is jealous of you. And if you think about it, there are only two girls in this class. Himaji and Hideyoshi. Whoever it is must not like one of them. You do realize she most likely just left to go get a metal bat, right? Why? I thought that was a good guess! Hold on just a second. What are you being blackmailed with anyway? Oh, I'm not really sure. If you refuse to heed my warning, I'll release these pictures. Cool, there's pictures! Hey, those are from the last school festival, aren't they? But who took these? Surely they won't have anything crazier than this. It's trunk, so it's okay, it's trunk, so it's okay, it's trunk, so it's okay, just trunks! Is everything all right over there? Yeah, there's really nothing that bad in these pictures. I think. Don't look at it, I'm hideous! I've never been so ashamed! Dude, you need to calm down, it can't be that bad. It can. That kind of power is dangerous. What evil villain is doing this to me? You're just being dramatic. Everyone wears a French maid costume at least once in their life. Good morning, you guys. Lovely day, huh? How's it going? You know, same old, same old. Perfect timing. Why don't you show those pictures to Himaji so she can prove they're not worth freaking out about? Show me what pictures? Okay, what would you do if you saw a picture of Aki dressed up in a maid costume? Well, first of all, I would probably buy a scanner. <laughs> That way I would be able to download the image and then share Akihisa's charm with the World Wide Web! Don't jump, man! It's not worth it! Let go of me! I have no reason to live anymore! Come back inside! Let's go get some advice from Kota! Of course! That is an awesome plan, Hideyoshi. I would expect nothing less from my wife. I think you mean husband? I think they're both wrong in so very many ways. <laughs> Question for you, Coda. Yeah, well, get in line, buddy. I was here first. You need advice, too? Apparently, Yuji has a wedding soon. Yeah, we all know about that. What's he gonna do? I have bigger problems. People are about to think I'm a sicko freak who enjoys dressing up like a girl. So what? People already know you're a sicko freak. Shut up and go back to your wife. Getting married has made you suck. Like the words of a pervert are gonna hurt me. Why don't you go back to wearing your big sister's clothes? <laughs> You guys are so sensitive, you just can't take trash talk. So back to me. I managed to get this away from Shoko. If I win the tournament, I'm gonna propose to you. I love you, Shoko! <laughs> These are the words Akihisa and Hideyoshi fabricated at the Fumizuki Academy School Festival. <laughs> that Shoko cracks me up. Who'd have figured she wants those words recorded? I would. She's gonna play it for her dad as proof of our engagement. Uh. She couldn't do this herself. She's an idiot when it comes to technical stuff. Which means there's gotta be someone else behind this. What did you want to talk about, Aki? I don't know any other way to say this. An underwear picture of me in a maid's costume is about to hit the internet big time. How'd that happen? Well, it's kind of like this. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where's the picture? Oh, yeah, it's right here. No! No, what? <laughs> the angle in that pic is better than the one I took. <laughs> It's not like I'm giving him away for free. So what? You make money off of me? I see. It appears that Aki's in the same boat I am. Yes, you're both victims of blackmail, wiretapping, and surveillance photos. Coda, I'd like for you to investigate. As a reward, I'll bring some dirty magazines that you can borrow. I'll take care of it. And I'll let you have half of my naughty treasure collection. This is extremely not a problem. 
So that's about what you can expect from academic training camp. Cool. We get to go to the Uziki Highlands this year. Wow, that's kind of swanky for kids. I know, right? I'm so excited about it. And for the last time, there are different meeting places for class, so don't screw it up. Class A is probably going to go by a limousine bus or something like that. Totally. And Class F will get stuck with a micro bus. Spare seats are standing up. No, probably in the trunk or in a bike rack. Class F has the distinction of meeting up at the campsite. What? We don't even get transportation? Life just isn't fair. Nuh-uh, yeah, that's not true. I swear. <laughs> Operation Find the Culprit, a.k.a. Photographer slash Wiretapper. I've already managed to dig up some intel. Wow, that's impressive. 
I found remnants of devices. I believe they were used by the perpetrator. Based on their M.O. and the kind of equipment they used in their surveillance, my conclusion is that both heinous crimes were committed by the same person. Awesome! So who did it? I don't know. Yeah, I guess not. It'd be kind of hard to figure out that fast. All I've discovered is that the culprit is a female student who has a burn on her butt. What the crap did you investigate? I set up a small camera on the school grounds. Then all I had to do was watch. Hey, look! This is from inside the girls' locker room. Why is it censored? If you want to see, you gotta pay. We're friends, aren't we? Wait a freaking minute! It's Shoko! Who is she messaging on her phone? I'm not sure. Let's blow it up. Here we go. It's an order form. I'd like to have another one of Yuji's marriage proposals. She sent me. <laughs> Stupid Shoko! Look, she's already got a reply. Thank you. I'll give you a discount since this is your second order. Training camp starts tomorrow, so I'll give it to you next Monday. Are you kidding me? I was safe by training camp? Check it out, there's other ones too. Crap. Dude, you're in there! I should have jumped out that window when I had the chance! So I guess we can confirm it's the same culprit for real now. I think you'll want to see this. She's writing back. All your pictures are wonderful, but it'll be a problem if they find out. How can anyone type that fast? Don't tell anyone, but my mom totally found out what I was doing the other day and got all been out of shape. What kind of mom uses moxibustion as a cleansing and burns her daughter's butt? She said it was an accident, but I know the truth. And that's all that I've got so far. Interesting. We can assume by daughter the culprit must be a girl or Hideyoshi. <laughs> so we're looking for a chick with a burnt booty. We can't just flip up all the girls' skirts. Even if we had an infrared camera, we wouldn't be able to make out a burn mark. I know! It's almost bath time, so we could just have Hideyoshi go look! I don't understand why I could go look. I don't take baths with girls. I'm a guy. Akihisa, read the training camp guidebook. The bathing times for each class are as follows. <laughs> They've given Hideyoshi a private bath time! Why do they always do that? Don't move, idiots! All of you put your hands behind your head and lie face down on the ground! What's going on? We said put your hands behind your head and lie face down on the ground! Come with me. We don't hate you. Hey! What? What are you chicks so pissed about? Don't act all innocent. We know you're the culprit. I'm sorry, what? Recognize this? We found your secret camera hidden in the girls' changing room. Someone put a hidden camera in there? Who would do such a thing? You three would do such a thing. You're the creepiest creeps in the school. Not true. Peeking and setting up hidden cameras? They wouldn't dare. Okay, they might dare. What? Please don't do it, Akihisa. <laughs> you would never ever do something like that, would you? They've got it all wrong, don't they, Aki? Don't worry, we believe in you. If you believe in me, you have torture equipment with you. How can you be so mean, Akihisa? Of all the times you could have peeked on me, you had to go and do it right after I had a huge meal? I... I was bloated! I normally weigh skinnier! That's what you're upset about? Yeah, and for the record, my tacos are normally bigger than they are today. Lying doesn't help anything, Mina Mina. Please protect them as well! No, I take it back. I didn't make it, I swear! was it? I still can't figure out why they treated me like a victim, though. They overreacted to a misunderstanding. We hadn't even peeked on them yet. Their camera wasn't one of mine, by the way. She crushed that thing with her bare hand. If they're gonna be like that, then who cares? Your words don't make sense. They've already made us do the time, so we might as well commit the crime. Let's <laughs> kill me! Hell yeah! I'm gonna peek on the girls taking baths for real. Yuji, if you want to see Shoko naked, I'm sure all you have to do is ask her. That's not what I'm talking about! Would you shut up? I don't want to see her naked! This isn't about Shoko. It's about finding the booty burn mark culprit. That's right. 
At first, I thought peeking on them was crossing the line. But if they're gonna be like that, then I say screw the line! I'm gonna look at every girl's butt until I find one with a burn on it! I recognize that camera and microphone. They're the same ones used by the blackmailer. Get out of town! So the burnt butt girl who's blackmailing Yuji and me is the same person who was peeking on the girl's changing room even though they thought it was us! There's no reason to hesitate. She set us up! Okay, and I'm really confused. Their feeding time ends in 30 minutes. They're on the other side of that door. We don't have much time. Let's get in there, boys! Stop immediately! Now, come on. You know you can't go in there, guys. Isn't that the chemistry teacher? Who cares? Just knock him down! I'd really rather you didn't. I'm summoning my avatar! Summon! <laughs> no way! Oh, terrific. This is new. Like probationary students' avatars, the teachers' avatars are also capable of physical interference. Whatever, dude. We're gonna crush you right along with your avatar. I'll just keep running. No, wait. Before you go, I need you to tell me what your chemistry score was. If I had just one more point on my test, just one more point... Yeah, what would it be? It'd be a two. Good to know. Keep running. It'll be hard to win if you have to fight him alone. I'll stay and help you out. You're the man, Hideyoshi. Well, Kota, my man, looks like it's up to us. Uh, hey, he's already gone! I don't think so, kid. Well, if it isn't Mr. Ushima, health and PE teacher. Give it up already, Suchia. No, you give it up. This isn't normal peeking. So what is it? P.E. Practical Training. Summon! Summon! Keep going, Aki. I'll take care of this one. Good luck, Kota. Now! It's all up to me! I'll make it! For the guys! No. It's Iron Man! Pathetic! Are you boys ever gonna learn how to stay out of trouble? Probably not, but I don't have time to talk about it! Summon! Wait, you didn't summon your avatar, Mr. Nishimura. It's a long story, but I don't actually have a score. Well, isn't that fancy? Alrighty then, get ready! God, Iron Man! What? Yoshi! I should revoke your summoning privileges, but I won't. You wanna know why? Maybe. I like that you're a probationary student. Cause as long as it's just an avatar, I don't have to feel bad about doing this. Clench your teeth, kiddo! <laughs> Presumptuous idiots take a remedial class. That's you three, by the way. Thus, the first day of training camp comes to an end. Akihisa and his friends have yet to be cleared of the accusations against them. What will happen next? Will they ever find the blackmailer? Bum, bum, bum. At the academic camp, classes A and F are training together. Yuji, you like studying together, don't you? Shoko, you know that's not your seat, don't you? So, why do we have to have lame study hall at camp anyway? Aren't we gonna have regular classes? No, why would we? Unless you can miraculously understand class A's material. <laughs> you should have a little bit more faith in your friend, friend. After all, Class F and A aren't really all that different to me. Yeah? Well, color me impressed. Uh, Mainly because I can't understand either one. Uh, how could I not have seen that coming? Did they not tell you the reason we're here? They're trying to motivate all the different classes. If they make everyone study in the same room together, supposedly Class F is going to be inspired to try to be more like Class A. Aww. And Class A will see that they don't want to be losers. Like we are. I don't know about those A guys, but I don't think this plan will work on our class, like, at all. Shoko, I've been looking for you everywhere. Hey, guys, I think I'm gonna study in here with you. It's Aiko Kudo. What's up, Creepers? How was last night? I heard you pervs tried to peek in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> if you wanted to see it so badly, you could have just told me. Are you still up for it? I'll let you see my underwear right now. What? What? I don't think so. <laughs> Are you feeling sick or something? You love this. I'm talking panties. Panties on a girl, you know. 
I can't be the only one losing my mind over this, can I? Don't let her get to you, Aki. She's wearing leggings under that skirt. What? Aiko, you monster! How could you be so heartless? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, boy, but I still have something you might like to see. Like what? It's a mini recorder, right? Koda, are you feeling sick or something? Cool, huh? You can have a lot of fun with these. I love Aiko! I'm losing my mind over a girl. That is pretty fun, isn't it, music? I don't think I've ever had more fun than this moment. Oh, by the way, would you help me with something? Of course. I'd be happy to. You should run now. They're going to come back with more stuff to torture you with. You don't have a lot of time. Go! I don't get it, Hideyoshi. I didn't even do anything wrong! Hey, Aki, listen. Hey, Yuji. We need to face the possibility that Aiko is the wiretapper. <laughs> Good point. She's got mad skills on that recorder. Akihisa, it's up to you to find out if she's the culprit. Understood. I have a question. Awesome. Ask away. Are you... Wait. If I just whip out, are you the blackmailer? She's probably not going to be honest about it. <laughs> Am I what? What? I mean, are you especially... Um... Especially... Think, Aki. You can do this. Let's see. We're looking for someone with a burn mark on their butt, so... There's that. Oh! Hmm? Aiko, I'd appreciate it if you would show me your butt. Thank you. That's some smooth talking there. You are the man, my friend. Way to put it out there. I bow before you. Aiko, I'd appreciate it if you would show me your butt. Thank you. This is starting to get embarrassing. Not her fault. She just recorded it. Please, Aiko, you have to delete that one! Please, Aiko, you have to show me your butt. <laughs> wow, did you hear what I heard? What did you hear? You know. The sound of a dead boy digging an even deeper hole for himself than the one he's already in. Oh, yes, I did hear that. And such a person cannot be allowed to escape without the proper punishment. You've got it all wrong. Let me explain. It's just that I this love is a fun. misunderstanding. It's as simple as that. I go. You're gonna get me killed if you don't stop. Seriously, I go. Stop messing around. Help me, Koda. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll take her on. Thanks, old buddy, old pal. You're the best. Listen to me. You both heard wrong earlier. I was just trying I to say this fought. was a misunderstanding. Oh my god. Especially you, Jason. Koda, you're not Jet. helping. I go, Kudo. You still have much to learn. Not too bad. You're just as good as I thought you'd be. Akihisa, I will never let you have you. I don't want him, though. Aki, tell the truth. Do you really like his butt that much? What's so wrong with mine? I mean, I sort of always knew it. But hearing the words out loud breaks my heart. No, God, listen! I'm not into that kind of thing, I swear! You're not into it! Homosexuality is not a fad. Miharu, what are you doing here? I wanted to see you! So I snuck out of class D and came here! I couldn't go another minute without seeing my baby! You go on me! <laughs> supposed to be studying. Could you please try and keep it down? Oh, sorry, Kubo. Also, in this day and age, making fun of homosexual love seems less than tolerant. Judging individual people within a society because of a difference in preference is unnecessary. A person can't help with whom they fall in love, and no one should assume otherwise. If you're mocking them, you're mocking nature itself. He's right! Love doesn't care about gender, baby! Love might not, but I sure do! Love certainly does not care about gender. Nice. Okay. I'm feeling kind of awkward. Love does not care about gender. I see. Why do you keep looking at me and Yuji like that? You've got it all wrong! For the last freaking time, I, I never love the video sheets up you heard. Stop! Damn it! Oh, Akihisa, I really don't know how to respond to that. You're not getting it. Hideyoshi, your name is what I'm What are you doing? Kubo, show me your butt. Kubo, show me your butt. I love Kubo. Kubo, show me your butt. I love Kubo. Well, this is unexpected. Not that I don't profoundly appreciate it, of course. This is how rumors get started, kids. I think I've got it. I'm pretty sure Aiko is the one who's blackmailing us. If she handles extortion the way she handles her little recorder thing, then that may very well be the case. Let's take her down right now. We only get one chance. We don't want to screw it up. Right, because if we do, the actual butt-burn culprit could end up being lost to justice forever. Yeah, and on top of that, 
She'll keep blackmailing you. Uh-huh. This is definitely a better safe than sorry situation. So we can't go barging in unless we're a hundred percent sure. I guess that makes sense. If only we could see her booty, we could find out if she has that burn mark. I bet she gets pissed, but why don't we just try flipping her skirt up? She's wearing leggings, remember? Oh, that's right. <sighs> At this point, we have no choice. We have to peek in on the girl's bathing. This is getting to be a theme. How do we peek, though? We need to have a good plan, because those guards are going to do whatever it takes to get in our way. Well, that hallway's a straight shot. A frontal attack is our only option. Unless you know of another way in there. Oh, there's always another way. The front is just going to be the easiest. But we'll have to have a strong force if we're going to make it through. You mean we need reinforcements? That's right. I'm on it. Fellas, what do you want from us? Welcome, everyone. Simple Sagawa. Fellow class effers. We have a little proposition to make to you. Probably what? I don't really want to do anything. Yeah, I'm kind of up for nothing. Really? So you're not interested in watching the girls take a bath? We never said, said that! Keep talking! Last night we tried peeking on the girls while they were in their bathroom. But a couple of jerk-ass teachers that were guarding them ambushed us and ruined everything. So? What now? We're making another attack tonight. Your job, if you choose to accept it, is to eliminate the guards in question. After that, your reward will be the chance to see Utopia! All right, Coda. What time are we at? It's currently 2010. About 10 minutes have passed since the targeted ladies from Class A started getting their lather on. This is perfect timing, men. We're gonna split up into four groups now. Group A, follow me. Group B, follow Aki. Group C, follow Hideyoshi. And Group D, follow Coda's directions. Understood? Roger that! Listen up! Finally, brothers, this is our time! Our time to reach Utopia! No matter what may get in your way, you must not allow it to stop you! Use everything you got! Gods and demons are mortal too! We will slay them! We're about to change the future, men, and nothing is gonna stop us! I was quite firm with them yesterday. Surely they won't try anything again today. Hmm? Apparently this pack of perverts is persistent! I'm summoning my avatar! Summon! You shall not pass! Summon! 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 Bad news! Hideyoshi and Group C have all been stopped by Mr. Fusei! This is the perfect chance to pass through! Fusei is distracted! Enter the game, guys! Yeah! All together, attack the Fusei! Now! Forward! Oh. Stop right there, Yoshi! In your face! Suck off! In your face! Yeah. Smarter than us. I'm asking nicely. Out of our way. And put my princess's flat chest on display for you to see? Hell to the no! You're wrong! Minami's flatter than flat chest isn't what I'm here for! You're lying! Her super flat chest has cast a spell on you, but if you make another move, then I'm gonna flatten you! Believe me! However flat, a flat chest is just a flat chest. Right now I have more important things to focus on than Minami's flat boy like chest, like I'm almost about to be you to my side! Go ahead, say it again, I dare you! One more time! He's practically begging for punishment, isn't he? You crack me up, Yoshi. What exactly did you want to see? Know what would make me happy? If it was me. I don't think so. I will not permit an offense. Damn it! Shoko is even here to stop us. This is bad! Is it at all possible that you came here to find this? I found a previously unfound hidden camera that had been left in the girls' changing room. I just stumbled across it, and it's not mine. Crazy. So then, what are you thinking, Coda? Shall we do this now? Hell yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Tell me you got this, Coda. I'm all over it. Go! Time for some sensitivity training! I knew you would try this again, you little idiots! Iron Man, do we have to get through him without using our avatars? No way, we'll never make it! You're about to get some serious counseling, kid! You hear me, Yoshi? Crap! This is where I die! Don't give up, my brother! <laughs> Sugawa! Let go of me now! Dude, you can't let yourself get taken out here! You're a probationary student! Your avatar is the only one who can take out the Iron Man! Please, Akihisa! Run away for now! Live to tell the tale! We're done listening to you! You monster! Sugawa! Summit! 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 Summit!
Fucking he says withdrawal. Clear a path for him to escape. Run, Yoshi, and don't look back. You guys. <laughs> Yoshi's our only hope. Protect him no matter what. <laughs> Go, Yoshi. Run. <laughs> okay, I'm trusting in my friends. All survive. I'm gonna do this. I won't fail you. I won't. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Utopia, nothing in the whole world can stop me! Akihisa Yoshi of Class F, please come to the counseling office immediately. Wow, how could I not see that coming? It's morning already? That sucks. I feel like I just went to sleep like five minutes ago. <gasps> to move around a lot while he's sleeping. At dawn, it was me. Turned over, and there he was. You bastard! How dare you take away my innocence! I will never forgive you! <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. Aiko told me something interesting yesterday. Oh, yeah? What? She said there's still a hidden camera in the girl's changing room. Are you kidding me? Do you think that makes her the blackmailer? I don't. That wouldn't be a smart move. Why would she go out of her way to make herself look suspicious if it was really her? We still have to check it out, though. Either way, if what she says is the truth, this is good news. Why is that? Because if we get our hands on that hidden camera, we'll be able to see the girls changing, which means we might be able to find that burnt butt. Good thinking. I'm pretty sure I can find that bad boy in under five seconds. Yeah, me too. But that's if there really is a camera there in the first place. The last one was found by those angry chicks the night before last, right? Doesn't it seem odd for a person who's so good at sneaking pictures and wiretapping to leave something where it could be found by amateurs? A fallback plan. It had to have been. That first so-called hidden camera was just a decoy. Its whole purpose was to make the girl suspicious of us. The one Iko found in the changing room has got to be the main camera. Then all we have to do is get the new found hidden camera and we'll know for sure! You can't do. It's locked outside of bathing times, remember? Can't we just keep trying the way we have been, though? Think about it, Aki. Do you know the reason we lost yesterday? I don't know. Maybe because half the girls were sent to offensively defend the bathroom? Which means we should do everything we can to strengthen our forces, right? We need guys from the other classes to help us. I could get behind that. And gaining a little bit of manpower isn't the only reason we need to get those classes involved. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need some protection after this thing. We are. Even if we find the culprit, even if we do succeed in peeking in on the girls changing, we are gonna be punished like nobody's business. I get it. If there are a bunch of us, they won't know exactly who did the peeking. Except, they already know that we're behind it. Fumizuki Academy is a pilot school that's getting a lot of attention. If a scandal happens, they'll have to either punish those involved or hide the fact that anything happened. So all we have to do is attack in a big group and they won't be able to punish anyone. Good call, Yuji. When it comes to making up dirty plans, you are the master. I just call it being resourceful. Let's get our comrades together before tonight. For Class A, we should probably try Kubo. Aki, that's gonna be your territory. If anyone can do it, you can. So true. I'll do my best. But guys, why me? Use this to protect yourself, just in case. Okay. What's going on, Kubo? You got a minute? I've got more than one. Please, sit down. Thanks, but I'm good here. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever you want to do is fine. I have a question. It's more of a favor. Will you? I would be happy to. That was fast. I apologize. I uncharacteristically lost my cool. Now let me hear what this is all about. Yeah, sure. Will you help us peek on the girl? I won't help you! That was fast! Why not? I just lost respect for you. Among a group of people, there are rules to follow. This following of said rules is how society as a whole is formed, Yoshi. Basically planning on breaking those established rules means that you have no respect for society and are unfit for it. Is that really the kind of person you want to be? That being said, trying to look at girls while they're bathing is disgusting and makes me want to puke! Oh. I failed. I failed big time. Figures. I'm glad you're okay, though. Of course I am. I didn't do anything dangerous. Sure you didn't. 
So since Class A's a bust, let's move forward with the other classes. All right. What the heck are you up to, loser? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What would I be up to? I am so not going to waste my breath telling you not to cause any more trouble, but yeah, don't do it. Hanging on girls while they bathe is so cliche. <laughs> what? You just compare me with everyone else if we're all naked. I can't stuff nothing, and they're far less perky when brawless. It's tragic. I never imagined you'd try to peek on us, so I didn't have time to go on a diet. That's beyond mean of you, Akihisa. What I want to see has nothing to do with you. You changed Stop. something totally different. <laughs> Stop doing that! Once again, the night of the showdown has a rut. Seriously, what? we couldn't get not anyone again. else to help us besides Class D and Class E? Class B's rep is Kyoji Nomoto, so there's really not much unity. Class C's rep is that freaking hard-ass Yuka Kuyama. Dude, I don't blame those guys for being terrified of her. Still, though, it's better than yesterday. The girls can only send out half of their group at a time to defend while they're bathing. As long as we can hold back the teachers, I think we'll be fine. I've already let each class know when we're planning to start the operation and where they need to be. Perfect. Let's get this thing done. We got a problem! We're too late! They were waiting to ambush us in the dining hall! What? Our forces are currently split up and scattered around each floor. Who figured they'd move first? They're like mind readers. Damn, I bet it was Shoko. Yeah, she doesn't like Yuji peeking on anyone but her. There's no time for hesitation now. We need to reorganize our forces, then we'll make our move. You're not gonna peek on us, Damn, where are the girls here? Who knows? Guys, I concentrate anyway. all your energy on one point. We'll break through there. Let's go. Yeah! Yuji! We've got enemies at the front! They probably set traps for us throughout the hall, so stay on your toes. Be ready for anything! Yuji, we've been waiting. Shoko! Crap! This is what I was afraid of. I told you I would not permit an affair. You ignored me, but your body won't. You boys are in need of some serious mental and emotional counseling. Miss Takahashi, the year two head teacher! Yuji! Withdraw! I'm sorry, that is so not gonna happen. Aiko! Mr. Urushima! You never learn, do you? Akihisa, if you wanted to see it that bad, why didn't you ask me? We could have worked something out. No! You don't frighten me! I'll fight my way through till the end! Summon! still haven't been able to find out who their burned butt blackmailer is. What will happen next? What will become of Akihisa and Yuji's? This would be the third night of academic training camp. Damn! It's not fair! Why did Miss Takahashi have to butt into our business? She's too strong! It's cheating! How are you gonna handle it? I mean, you've gotta do something if you wanna get out from under the blackmailer's control. I know. We're not giving up yet. Yeah, but... Tomorrow is the last night to catch them. I've already got another plan. Although, I don't think the guys from D, E, and F are gonna be enough. We'll still need a lot more backup. Are you with me, Koda? I'll handle the photography. Akihisa, your job's to lure the girls to our room. But why? What are you gonna do? If we can just get a couple of pictures of them, then we can use those pictures as bait to request help from the other classes. Yeah, I get it. 
We'll convince the other guys to help us by appealing to their animal desires with the picture. And here is a yukata for your picture. No, we're taking pictures of the girls. I'll send Himaji and Minami a text message. I've got something I want to talk to you about. Can you come to my room ASAP? And send. Himaji never leaves me waiting. I'll leave in a few minutes. I've just got to pack up a few snacks for us first, okay? Oh, cool. Minami replied too. Yeah, I guess I can. But why this late? Can't it wait till tomorrow? Sounds like she's playing it safe. How should I respond? Huh? Another one? And it's from Sugawa. Hey, I was wondering, why are you guys so desperate to spy on the naked girls? Really? Oh, come on, that question practically answers itself. You know why. You may be desperate, but the heart wants what the heart wants. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Calm down, Nagi somebody. Let's play this back step by step. Something wrong, Akihisa? <laughs> Is there anything I can help you with? You look kind of down. Could you maybe go back in time and not break my phone? Quit worrying, I got it. I'll have this thing fixed up in no time. Let me borrow yourself! No, damn it! Sure, man. I need to explain that text to me to me. Your contacts are empty. You know you've only got Shoko's contact info in here? What? Damn it! I've got to find a new place to hide my phone. I wish she would stop doing that. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. You don't happen to know Minimi's number, do you? Oh, yeah, sure. The same way you know Shoko's number. Well, I guess it was worth asking. Hold on. What did you just send? <laughs> you just took a giant dump on my life, you moron! Now you know how I feel, and you caused that feeling, you jerk! Shut the hell up! Yes, sir. This is bad! I've gotta fix it! I need your cell to call Shoko! I dropped mine in the toilet and can't afford a new one. You know the government can track you with those things. Ah, it's over! My life is completely over! It's open! Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, Imogi, glad you could make it. But how did you make it? Didn't Iron Man try to stop you? I gave him a couple of snacks and he let me through. May flights of angels sing him to his rest. <laughs> Well, I'm here, Akihisa. What did you want to talk to me about? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. With the pictures taken and their goal completed, the night couldn't get any better. However... Hey, Aki. Aki. Are you asleep? Hey. Wake up, jerkwad. Your room, like you said, this was your idea. Now go on and wake up. <laughs> Shut up, Aki. You're being too loud. Well, don't just go back to sleep. <gasps> Mina, me, what are you doing in here? That I think I might know the answer to that. One, I sent me a me a weird ass text. Two, knowing her, she's probably pissed off. Three, she's looming over my sleeping body. Four, her body is a weapon. There you have it. Just please try to make it quick and painless, okay? To be honest, I'm not sure I want to know what that's supposed to mean. What? You mean I'm safe? I don't get you. It's not like it was easy for me to come over here, you know. But then, I, uh, I want you to tell me in person, not by text, before I let this thing go any further. That's a lot of pressure to come up with my final words. <laughs> I could use some help right now. <sighs> Yoshi looks too cute to wake up. Koda's wrapped up taking pictures, of course. <sighs> Yuji's being tied up and molested by Shoko. <laughs> Damn it! Don't my friends realize I need them? <laughs> Yesterday, too? Come on, baby. Let's go to our room and coil our naked bodies together. Don't go thinking you'll be getting any sleep tonight, though. Now follow me! Ah! Ah! I don't know why you try to get comfortable. You're not sleeping either. Oh, 
Why is everybody screaming? We don't want to go back to our room. Shut up, guys. Keep it down. If you all get any louder, then you just... Hey! What the hell is all this ruckus? Man, we are in deep crap here. He's going to kill us when he sees four half-naked girls in our room. There's only three here. Am I missing one? Yuji and I are going to try to distract him. You girls make a run for it while we do. Let's go! Yeah! I hope you're prepared for your destruction, Yuji! And I try not to think about that! Then prepare to get prepared! He's on our ass. Our only hope is to hide someplace he can't go. And where is that? In the girl's room! I get you. Iron Man can't go into the girl's room because he's a guy and he'll get fired. But if I go in there wearing nothing but my underwear, then I'll most likely get sent to prison! Let's risk it! No freaking way! If you're gonna act like such a girl about it, put this on and shut up. Thank you! Okay, there it is. We're almost in the clear. Hold on. I'd be better off going in there butt naked than wearing this. You make an excellent point, buddy. Good luck. Yeah, get back here. Look, I'd rather not get busted with a crossdresser, okay? Then I guess you better give me your yukata. <laughs> get off me, you freak. Do it. Now. Just take it Stop. off and get it to me. Help. Turn what the hell? What are you two doing? I know you guys don't have much luck with the ladies. But save this kind of thing for the privacy of your own room. This isn't what it looks like, we swear! A perfect incident for such a hot night. Woo-hoo. <sighs> so sleepy. You guys sure you're gonna be alright today? Because we've still got a lot of tests ahead of us to recover our scores. We've got counseling with Iron Man for three days in a row. You have to admit, it did look pretty bad. At least something good came out of it. Oh, oh you are freaking amazing, dude! Okay, guys, it's time. Let's go find some recruits to help us. The fourth day of academic training camp. A day destined to go down in history as the final showdown. gathered some useful data from the last time. Take a look at this video surveillance from the units on the second floor. Those are the Class C girls, right? This was their science and humanities scrimmage. The trouble here, the teacher's avatars are fighting alongside them. There's no way to get past that. Whoa! There goes Takanaka's toupee! Now watch this closely. just finished. If the fields of teachers from different subjects collide, they cancel each other out. I see. I guess it must cause too much technical interference. This is our last chance. They'll do everything they can to create an unbreakable line of defense. While avoiding the interference, they're going to stagger their main forces by the level of their strength. This is their expected formation. Our room is here on the third floor, while our goal lies deep in the basement. Miss Takahashi, Mr. Ushima, and Iron Man will probably be defending the basement. While on the offensive front, we've got the guys from D, E, and F. And the rest, fingers crossed on guys from A, B, and C. It's gonna be a rough fight no matter what. You guys can let me handle little Miss Takahashi. Koda, we'll leave Ushima, the gym teacher, for you to handle. Best of luck. And Akihisa, you'll take Iron Man. Why me? Because you're the only one here that has a physically enhanced avatar that can bring him down. Okay. If you do this, we're gonna watch your back at all costs. And I guarantee you, we will get you to Iron Man unscathed. And we'll be more than happy to sacrifice ourselves, whatever it takes to make certain that no one even touches you before you're able to reach him. You mean it? Will you please do this for us, Akihisa? Fine. It's time to launch the mission, gentlemen. Right, so let's do it. Are you guys fired up or what? Yeah! yeah. This is our only chance. We Huddle accept up. nothing less than total victory, and nothing will stop us from achieving it. Yeah! I don't care if it's girls or teachers in there. Our eyes will feast upon a wet and bubbly skin buffet. On the fourth night of academic training camp, we shall overcome! Let's go!
Soraka from Class D. They showed it. All right, guys, we'll hold them back. Keep moving. Thanks a lot, comrade. We'll see you in Valhalla. There's so much dedication. That's because our hearts are united behind one purpose. But our real battle starts here. We're screwed if we don't have any backup, though. You boys never learn! I'm sorry, Mr. Kusei, this isn't personal. No, not you too. Tell me why! It's Kurosaki from Class C! Koda's pictures had a profound effect on me. In fact, I've never cared so much about anything in my entire life. And I promise to fight until the bitter end to see such beauty with my own eyes. We couldn't have gotten this far without your help. You guys watch our backs and we'll do our best to clear the path. Thank you for giving me a reason to dream again! Men of Class C, let's give them every bit of the support they need. The glorious path to victory lies straight ahead! <laughs> it's starting to look like we've got backup from every guy in every class! Too bad Class A is still kind of a wild card. We already know those pictures won't work with Kubo. How is that possible? Don't tell me he has a better collection of pictures than those! <laughs> Well, 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 it took you long enough. Looks like we've got Class B, too. Yuji, it is time to give up. Shoko, Himiji. We're not letting you get past this point, Akihisa. That's it. We're finished. We can't defeat them. It's impossible. Yamoto, we shouldn't have even tried. It's a lost cause. And is it even worth it if Himaji and Shoko weren't there anyway? Of course it's worth it, guys! Sure, they may not be taking a bath, but what about the other naked girls? Yeah, what about them? Each and every naked girl in this world is worth spying on! Now get up! Get up for boobies! Look, Akihisa, there's no way we can win at this point. So why are you so insanely determined to finish this? Even if you manage to get the pictures back, it's not going to change your reputation. It isn't that, Hideyoshi. I admit, that was the only thing I really cared about at first. Capturing the real culprit and clearing my name of any guilt in the process. But as we passed through this battle and witnessed good men sacrificing themselves, well, I came to realize something. And what was that? Even though it's considered the wrong thing to do, I'm not going to lie about my feelings. So I have to be honest, and the truth is, the only reason that I'm doing this is I want to see the girl naked! <laughs> Your stupidity is somehow admirable. Are you really saying that you would rather peek on Minimi -Mi in the bath instead of spying on me? That's the last straw, Aki! No more! Your peeking days are officially over! Go ahead and let society judge me for it! I don't care! I have to stay true to the feelings in my heart! I couldn't agree more, Akihisa. Hey, who said that? I'm sorry it took us so long. But now that I've heard how you feel, I know that I've made the right choice. Hey, Kubo! You made it! I was a little hesitant at first, but I am now a true believer in your cause. The guys of Class A stand 24 strong, and from now on, you have our complete and undying assistance. All right, boys, give him the cover he needs. <laughs> Thank you, Kubo. I owe you one. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You were right earlier on. I can't lie about my feelings either. And while society may look down upon me, the heart wants what the heart wants. This is between me and Akihisa! Now fight me! I've made a personal vow to protect Akihisa, and I won't let you stand in his way. Come on, you guys! Let's move out! I'm surprised. I don't know how you managed to talk Class A into helping you, but it doesn't really matter, does it? This is the end of the line for all of you. Summon! No way! We're walking right through! change in our game plan. Keep going, Aki. I can't. Sure, go. I'll let you pass, but only if Coda stays and faces me. I'll be fine. All right. 
Good luck not dying, my brother! I am beyond disappointed in you, kid. Don't tell me you honestly think a student can beat a teacher. Who says? What? Who says that it's impossible for a student to defeat a teacher? Very well. If that's what you want... Summon! Execute such a complicated plan. I tried so hard, but I don't know. Maybe you're right. I simply lack. That's it! Yeah. Focus. If I narrow the aim, if I fight alongside my avatar, we can concentrate our attacks to a single spot on your body. We'll focus our attacks on your balls! What? That is a genuinely disturbing idea for you to even think of. Pass out and save yourself a little pain! Kiss your balls goodbye! <laughs> ha! I'm just messing with you.
orientation ceremony. I just moved to Japan from Germany, so I wasn't very familiar with the language yet. Nice to meet you, and I hope you have a good year. If I want to fit in here, I have to make a good first impression. I can't go up there and embarrass myself. No getting nervous or fidgety and making everyone think I'm crazy. Those were the sorts of things going through my head as I waited my turn to introduce myself to the class. Next, we have Minami Shimada. Hello, everyone. My name is Minami Shimada. It's so nice to thank you all so much. something strange already? I've been told Miss Shimada is a returnee student from Germany. I imagine it'll be difficult for her to adjust for a while. There are a lot of things in Japan she's still not used to, so do your best to help her out. I know it seems difficult, but take it slow. If you're going to use Chinese kanji, start with one character at a she? time. to meet you so much. Embarrassing. If I didn't say just tell me, I was writing it wrong instead of staring. My dad had told me everyone in Japan would be nice and that I'd be able to make friends super easy. But that one class proved him wrong in 30 seconds. I felt like crap. Hey, my name's Yuji Sakamoto. Really glad to be here. That's the one everyone called the demon at his old school, and I can see why. Do you think it's too late to switch classes? Have I come to a school of delinquents? No, no, no. Father said Japan is very safe, so I am sure he is not as scary as he looks. I'm Hideyoshi Kinoshita. It's nice to meet all of you. Oh, my. Is this girl really wearing a boy's uniform? Maybe she is one of those girls who isn't into wearing skirts. And that is okay. It's not weird at all. Dad said there is nothing strange or scary about Japan and he is right. I'm Kota Tsuchiya and I take pic picnic lunches. I'm very good at stalking. I'm not good at anything. Wait, there is something you dropped. Forget what you saw if you know what's good for you. Okay, that was not creepy. He uses that camera to record the classes. Nothing strange, just like Father said. And now, straight from the Gatsui Junior High, the one and only... Akihisa Yoshi! Student. That's so cool. Hey, when did you get back to Japan? Were you born in Germany? Like they'd never seen a returnee student. Either they were honestly interested or totally freaked out. Are you like really good at German? Are you gonna join a club at this school? Did you have a boyfriend on the other side? I can't understand them. They're all talking so fast I can barely pick up a few words. I don't remember if it's please slow down or please be quiet. Do you know what cats are? What do people eat over there? What size bra do you wear? Wait a minute. What did that girl say this morning that made those guys back up? It was just fun phrase. Oh yeah, I remember now. The... The? Damn stupid pigs. Shut your fat trap. That did not make a good first impression. I asked Dad about it later. Turns out it's not the nicest thing to say to people you want to like you. After that, they were scared. None of them even wanted to come close to me. Well, except for one person. Excuse me, Shimada, right? Oh, hi! Do you all the time 
Manzo's to school? You mean the sailor suit? No, I overslept. And I didn't have any more time. I just grabbed something and ran out. So being in a hurry made it okay to dress up in a sailor costume. If this is how Japanese students think, I'll never figure this place out. Hey, are you gonna move? Or are you just gonna keep blocking the exit and rambling on like an idiot? Yeah, there's no need to be rude, buddy. Shimada's just not used to living in Japan yet, okay? That doesn't make her an idiot. Oh, shut up. I was talking to you, stupid. Oh, yeah? Well, what's so stupid about me? Everything. And whose dress are you wearing? It's a shirt, and you shouldn't judge people by who they are or what they're wearing. How else am I gonna judge them? You're not making any sense, dude. Whatever! You're stupid, too! I saw it with my own eyes! This morning, that really pretty girl tried to talk to you, and you just ignored her like a turd! That's none of your business, and why were you staring in the first place? I knew there was something wrong with you from the very first time I saw your stupid ass! I can say the same to you! What kind of deal we'd call someone they just met an idiot? Only a lunatic, that's who! Oh, no way! Sailor Sissy Boy is calling me crazy? Why don't you give the circus monkey back his outfit? I'm going to you goodbye! Thank you so much! I didn't understand everything they were saying, but I got the idea I should probably go ahead and avoid them. I was trying to get back to a normal school life, not create more drama for myself. Things were great in Germany, but Hazuki, my little sister, she needed me. She's why I came back to Japan with Dad when he got his job transfer. Still, I wasn't sure I did the right thing. So the girls' room is blue and the boys' is pink, I see. Yes, that could have been very awkward. What the hell? Why are the girls in here? Here! I am not a girl! Gain my hair, Kinoshita! No, I have to pee really bad. I don't understand. Why did I have to leave? Be doom! Was was do? That is the toilet birdie manner! What are you saying? Why are you so mad? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm not the one who walked into the wrong restroom. Shimada, wait! I know it's just the first day, but everything about Japan is freaking me out. I'm sure it'll start to make sense eventually. I just have to be patient and put up with a bit of craziness until then. At least I get to spend some more time with my family. Just a little hard. <laughs> yes, Japan definitely freaks me out. There were only strange people, ever. after about a week. I was overwhelmed with how quickly it was moving. Modern Japanese class was harder than any other class I had. Everyone was fluent and I could barely follow along. When the time came to read classics, it was pretty much gibberish. All right, then how about Yoshi? In this case, can you tell me what the conjugation of the word habari is? Yes, it's hanari, sir. Now, why would you give me a word in the Kyoto dialect when I asked you for the conjugation of a classic Japanese word? It's so irrelevant that it's actually refreshing. Huh? What does that even mean? <laughs> That's all. Make sure you're familiar with everything we did today before our next class. It's finally over. I may have been free from the jaws of the most boring class ever, but... Hey! Wait up, Shimano. Where are you headed now? There, Michael. Uh, yeah, right. What is it to say to go home? Did you say what a see? To go home! Oh, home, oh, that makes more sense. I thought you were saying something about the sea for a sec. I'm sorry, it's hard to understand you sometimes. Guess that's what you get for being cultured and studying abroad, huh? You're like a foreigner now. You ever thought about that? hard enough when people speak it at lightning speed. But I was so stressed out that I couldn't concentrate. 
My head was pounding and my brain couldn't even process what I was hearing. Believe me, I wish I could ditch this place too. I'm dying of boredom here. But we still gotta go back to home room after this. Huh. I guess you could shorten it and call it home if you wanted. Then it would be true for everyone. How weird would it be if we all said we were going home and we went to see smiling about? That Is it really that funny that I can't speak my own language very well? To me, boy drives past Devonier, mon ami. Check it out. The guys from Akebono Junior High want to play basketball for grub from the school store. You in? Heck yeah, I'm in. I have, like, nothing for a food budget. I'm in, too. Would you mind if I joined you guys? Playing some ball sounds like fun. That's weird. When did they become so close? But I don't know. I got this. Am I saying it right? Mon ami? What is with him? Why does he keep talking to me in gibberish? Now he's just making fun of me. The least he could do is get my name right. Minami, not Monami, jerk. If you don't even know who I am, why try so hard to upset me? Was for ein shaped mandarin? Do you want to shave fur off a beast? I say, what a shit man you are! What a cheat man you are? As in, wait, you're saying you're a dude? Oh, well, that's cool, I guess. Boy, is the biggest idiot on earth. There was something in there about you being a shitty guy. Guess you pissed her off, man. Oh, really? Yeah, you thought a girl was actually telling you she was a guy and didn't even question it? That's harsh, bro. I am so sorry, Shimada. I didn't mean it, and it has nothing to do with the fact that your chest is freakishly hard and that my elbows are being torn out of their socket! You may not understand everything I say, but I'm certain I heard flat-chested. What did I ever do to him? You are a very big sheet man! I hate this. I hate it here. I wish I never moved. Hey, Shimada. Just wanted to say I don't know that idiot very well, but I think he might be all right. And I also think that you might be freaking out a little too much. Me? Why? I know he acts weird when he talks to you, but what he's saying is nice. for idiot that will be useful around here. 
Tunez-vous dress pas devenir mon ami? I can't figure it out. He's probably trying to confuse me so I'll look stupid. As soon as I find him, I'll say something just as rude back. Tunez pas dress pas. Tunez pas dress pas. Where is it? Ah, this is making my brain hurt. Why can't I find it? Even if he's using slang, something should have popped up. And does he really not know my name by now, or is he calling me Monami just to be annoying? Wait a minute. Vow dress past Devonir Monami, so it isn't in Japanese. I bet he was trying to look up something in German, but found it in French on accident. Wow, he really is an idiot. And after I figured that part out, I couldn't find a French-German dictionary anywhere in the library. I had to translate the whole thing into English first, and then back into German. I had no idea if I was spelling it right or even pronouncing it well enough to guess. Yoshi, how are you? Uh, morning, Shimada. Nice to see you. Whoa, hi. What's up? You all right? I wish to tell you something. Okay. Uh, uh, she. What do I do now? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Did I do something to upset you again? No, I am not mad. How do you say? Not a shit person, you see? This is for real. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. I knew it. Minami has a thing for Akihisa. <laughs> this is for real. I'll see you in hell. Take the fugitive away. She likes him. She likes, like, likes him. We training camp. The year two boy suspension is finally over. Eugene. Yeah? What is it? <laughs> you dodged me. You were about to headbutt me. I'm not just gonna sit there and take it. I was only trying to kiss you. You were what? 
Okay, now stay right there. Put your hands behind your head and explain slowly. A kiss. Mouth to mouth, lip to lip. It's only natural, considering we're engaged to be married. What? No, I know what a kiss is. What I was trying to ask you is why you... <laughs> when, where, and with whom did you kiss? I just know what it is. I never said I actually kissed anyone. Oh, well, that's good. You're killing me. What's all this headbutt kissing crap about in the first place? Those two. They were kissing a moment ago. Seriously? What's he thinking? He knew those guys would kill him for that. It's like he's actually getting stupider by the flippin' minute. I apologize. What? While you were sleeping, I might have done something. Uh -huh. Looks like we have another heretic over here! All right, take him in. Oh. Uh, hey, stop it! I didn't even do anything! I'm a naughty Let girl, although all I did was kiss him on the cheek. Men, tell them where we are. For passing final judgment. What happens to Tree? The death penalty awaits! Wonderful! And now, let the Inquisition begin. Hey, Yuchi, why did they bring you here? Because of you, you jerk! Read the charges, please! They are as follows. Akihisa Yoshi shall be known as A. Minami Shimada shall be known as Flatchest. A is charged with an act of disloyalty to our doctrine. Earlier this morning, A was caught with Flatchest as he sexually assaulted her on the mouth. Our fellow members dutifully captured him at that time. The relationship between A and Flatchest calls for a thorough investigation. A should suffer the consequences, and Flatchest should have a watchful eye kept on her in the future. Just state the conclusion! You were jealous of him because he was kissing a girl! Death penalty it is. Aki, do you have any idea what's going on? No, I wasn't paying attention. Doesn't something seem weird to you about all this? Do you remember the last time you saw me to me? I think it was that last night at the training camp. Okay, what happened? After everyone fell asleep, she, like, randomly came up to me. Seriously? And you didn't think that was strange at all? I figured, you know, she just wanted to kill me. So think, before that, did you say anything to her? Let me think. There was that one thing. <laughs> Is everything okay, dude? Yeah, I'm good. Well, what did you talk to her about? A uh, kind of love confession thing. Wait, she confessed to you? No, I did the confessing. Ah! That didn't seem a little weird to you! Heretic Akihisa Yoshi, will you repent your sin and accept the ruling placed against you? Depends on the ruling. Your sentence is a special bungee jump. Can you tell me, like, what kind of special bungee jump? I don't want to cause unnecessary concern, but I will give you a hint. Think... Skydiving without a parachute. Ah, that's not a hit! You're telling me you want me to bungee jump without a cord? Oh, it's Imogi! Over here! I had a sneaky what? suspicion, Minami liked Akihisa. I guess I was right. Why are you still acting like that? with you up until now, but I really need you to stop doing this kind of stuff. 
because... Well, because Aki and I have started sleeping. <laughs> Deflective backflip! That's just the way it is. I hope you understand. I do! You and I are going to get married and name our daughter Mirai, so the first part of her name sounds like the first part of yours because that's the way it's supposed to be! Hold it right there! What are you going to name it if it's a boy? I'm thinking Steven should work okay. We're missing something important! The two of us can't make a baby! Class is starting! What are you doing in here? Go back to your classroom, Shimizu. You need to turn around and walk away, Nishimura. I'm dealing with a matter of life and death. Life and death? Yes, life and death, and then I'm gonna annihilate every sleazy dirtbag in here! You are forbidden from entering this classroom again, Missy. Why, Hayata? You always get into stuff like this. At least you get some good stories. Leave me alone. This time it isn't even my fault. You can deny it all you want, but we're about to get in trouble big time because of you. Apparently, Class D's decided they need to challenge someone to a summoner test war. So what do we care if they want to fight another class? That doesn't have anything to do with us. Dude, there is no way you can pin that on me. Yes, I can, if the class they want to fight is ours. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. We have the worst equipment in the school. Why would they want to fight us over a bunch of stuff that's crappy? Les, you guessed it. This is all Miharu. She's trying to switch her tables back to cardboard boxes just to keep you and Minami from sitting next to each other. But how could she get everyone in Class D to go along with her? They know she's cray-cray. Well, we are the ringleaders of the peaking incident. No wonder the girls already believe our class is their sworn enemy. And their class rep, Hidaga, won't try to fight them on it. Miharu is ridiculously jealous, and the girls are ridiculously pissed, so what could he do? Balls. With that damn suspension, the guys haven't been able to recover their scores yet, either. Even having Himaji on our team isn't going to help us at this point. There's only one way out, guys. Avoid the war. How are we supposed to do that? I think it's up to you and Minami now. But before we get started, there's one thing I'm curious about. What's that? Are you and Minami dating? Like, for real dating, dating? <sighs> as far as I can remember, we're not, but she might have a good reason to think we are because of a text message I sort of accidentally sent her. An accidental text? <laughs> uh, well, that makes sense. What Aki did was bad enough, but then Yuji had to come in with some super bad timing and make things even worse. That's what was going on. Sorry, Aki, I know it must suck, but listen to me. You have really got to fix this. Clear things up with Minami, like ASAP. Maybe then Miharu will chill out. Okay. What's the story, Koda? Did you see Miharu plant a wiretap device here? Yeah, but I made it look like it was broken and removed it. What did you want to talk to me about? Will, do you remember that email I sent you while we were still at training camp? <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that you kind of got the wrong idea. What? Yeah, I'm an idiot. I meant to send that email to someone else. Who? I'm pretty sure it was Sugawa. What? Are you telling me you were going to confess your love to Sugawa? I had a feeling this would happen. I mean, I know you never give me a reason to think otherwise, but I thought for sure you liked girls. You what? No, it's not like that. <sighs> that is just wrong in so many ways. I know. I'm sorry. The, the point is, I sent it on accident. Talk about a relief. I always suspected, but I didn't want to embarrass you. I totes get it. <laughs> Yeah, you just kind of rolled with it, huh? Oh, please. This is coming from the guy who sent a suggestive email to the wrong person. <laughs> what are you going to do about my first kiss? You screwed that up for me! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to think about it. I swear. Sorry doesn't quite cut it, you jerk. Yeah, but... What? Well, it was my first kiss, too. We're even. Yeah, right. She is so not going to go for that. I didn't know, so yeah, I guess so. Sure, we can call it. No freaking way! Hey, so I'm gonna ask you something, but I don't want you to get all mad at me. What is it? Well, it's just, you've told me Haru that we were dating, so does that mean that you, you know, maybe you might have, you know, uh... No! Like, no! She wasn't gonna give up, like, ever, so it just seemed like the logical thing to say! I didn't know, you know, you know, it was just good timing! Denial.com. She's lying to herself. Oh, I wish you would've told me. I thought you, like, like-liked me. That's so weird. Yeah, like that ever would have happened. Yeah, right? I couldn't figure it out. You were acting like such a girl instead of yourself. I felt like you were dislocated by arm! I well, was at least not. the main confusion has been cleared up. Now all we have to do is tell Crazy Face about all this, and hopefully that'll work. So the war with Class D was successfully avoided. However... really need to listen to this. Bad news, the situation is even worse now than it was this morning. Oh, is it really true that you have pictures of Aki Hisa in a Sailor School uniform? 100 each. Redistribution is prohibited. Yes, I'll take everything! Oops, that wasn't it. Hey, what the crap? You're right! The situation has gotten totally worse! Calm down, you don't have to 
make a big deal out of everything. God, someone is selling pictures of me like I was here at freaking Yoji. This is so not nothing. What? Someone's selling pictures of me? I didn't do anything. Why is my situation getting worse? Here's the real one. How are things holding up with Class N? Very good, sir. They're not aware of our plans. Perfect. We'll recover our scores in the meantime. If they notice what we're up to, we'll declare war immediately. What the hell was that? I thought Class D said they weren't going to attack us anymore. No, that isn't D. Where did this come from, Coda? I recorded it in Class B. Damn, that Nemoto guy plays almost as dirty as Shoko. But why the hell would Class B want to declare war on us? We lost a lot of respect after that last ST war. On top of that, he got them to agree to participate in the peaking operation, which failed miserably. With all that drama, he probably lost the control he had over his own classroom. I'm guessing this is all a ploy to calm down the class so he can take over again. He must be planning to create a new enemy for them by directing their angst at us. Maybe then they won't be pissed at him for being such a failure. If he can pull it off, it'll most likely help him regain some of the ground he lost. No, we haven't recovered our scores yet. If Class B decides to attack us, there's no freaking way we could beat them! I realize that, so now we have to create a situation where Class B won't be able to declare war on us. What are we supposed to do now? That's easy. All we need is for another classroom to declare war on us before they get a chance to. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. We need to enter into battle with Class D. Oh my god! We just went through all that trouble to keep D from starting a war with us! It doesn't matter who we go up against. If we fight an ST war, we'll be given time to recoup our scores with the recovery tests. It makes more sense for us to do that after losing to Class D instead of B. I think I get it. If we take the remedial class and get our scores up, Class B is less likely to want to attack us, right? But... Yuji, with our current scores, we can't even defeat Class D! I know, but don't worry, I think I've got a solution for that. First things first, though, somehow we need to get Class D to declare war on us like Pronto. Okay, how? We can use what happened this morning. You and Minami just get all cozy and piss off Miharu. What? I don't think so! No way! Can't you reconsider? Never in a million years! But No one's gonna believe I would be the girlfriend of such a stupid idiot! Come on. I know you're the only one who can do this, Minami. If Class B attacks us now, we're gonna have to go back to using cardboard boxes. Do you really want that? Yeah, not to mention Himaji's parents might get super worried about her again. Do you really want them to transfer her to another school? Oh, and we could use your help too, Himaji. But what can I do? We don't think Minami acting this all by herself will be convincing enough. So we were hoping you could pretend that you were jealous of their relationship. What do you think? You can manage that, can't you? Look, Minami no Hibisa, I understand you may not want to do this, but you have to. Mizuki. I'm sorry, I know I'm being selfish, but I can't help it. I just really don't want my parents to make me change schools. Please do this. Well, I guess since I'll just be faking it, it's not that big of a deal. Thank you so much, Minami. Lovely, now let's get started. Alright, what's this, like a script? Sorry for asking you to come see me like this, but I wanted you to know that I'm in love with you. I have a confession for you, too. I feel the same way. Oh, no, 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 no. I am so not saying any of that! I know it's just pretend, but this is embarrassing. No. Watch me do it. You're not getting into your character. <gasps> what? Wow. I'm sorry for asking you to come see me like this. But I wanted you to know that I'm in love with you. Ever since I first met you, I've been in love with you. It was really hard for me to be no more than a friend to you this whole time. The truth is, I can't bear to be just friends with you any longer. Aki, I know this must be weird to hear after what I said to you earlier, but please understand. I am madly in love with you. Would you like to be my boyfriend? Something like that. Wow, that was beautiful. My heart is still racing. Hey, what's wrong with you, dude? I just need a moment. Could you do me a favor and leave me alone for a little bit? Mm -hmm. I don't want to wake up from this dream. Not yet. You're up, Koda. Think you can put Miharu's wiretap device back up on the rooftop? I can do that. I want the three of you to head up there and put on a show so that Miharu will hear it through the microphone and get the wrong idea. The setup is that Akihisa and Minami are meeting secretly, okay? Now link your arms together. Uh, our arms? How come? We gotta make this look authentic, especially after what happened, so do it. Fine then, give me your arm. If you try to touch me anywhere else, I'll kill you. <laughs> when you grab a hold of me, that's...
bad time, it's hard to walk. I'm supposed to be dating you, dummy. This is called normal behavior. I get that, but you, you know what's are digging into my elbow. <sighs> You're dirty. It's your ribs. <laughs> oh, crap! I'm supposed to be acting! Oh, yes, dear? What is it exactly you like about me? Why are you asking? Isn't it obvious? Everything from the top of your uh, head to... To what? Your eyebrows. My forehead? Yes, that makes sense. I have to ask, why are your arms crossed like that? Easy, Katie. You're so close to each other. It almost looks like... like... like the two of you might be dating or something. Wait, was that line in the script? Oh, she's improvising. You're right, Mizuki. Akihisa and I are indeed together. Uh, why didn't you tell me about this? I... I'm sorry, I should have said something earlier. So I was right. You really had a thing for Akihisa this whole time. Yes, and I'm sorry for keeping that from you. Especially since I knew how you felt. <coughs> I really am sorry. Please say you'll be able to forgive me. <laughs> you know, I sort of already knew you liked him, but I do feel better now that you've been honest with me. I understand. You were in an awful position. I don't know if I would have said anything either. Does that mean you're gonna forgive me? This isn't about whether or not I'll forgive you. I think you should have the freedom to like whomever you want to like. And I can't fault you for that, Mizuki, any more than I could fault myself. Thank you. Sure. But still, I... I can't forgive you for kissing him this morning! You went too far, and on top of that, you stole the very first kiss you will ever have! But we already explained that was because of the email and stuff. No, you and stuff me! God may be able to let that one go, but I will never forgive either one of you! <gasps> no! It's a wiretap thingy! You guys are stupid! Stupid! Himiji spills the beans without noticing it, and Haru could figure out the truth! <laughs> Himiji, wait! Hey, hold up! What's going on? You don't have to go after her, unless you're gonna pick her over me. I'm sorry, Minami, but there's something I have to take care of. No! You can't leave me! Aki, please! I have something I want to tell you. I think I'm in love with you. Finally. I said it. What the hell was that all about? There's a script, you know. I'm done acting. Everyone knows Aki likes girly girls, so this has just been a waste of time. <gasps> Himichi. <gasps> oh, hi, Akihisa. <gasps> I didn't even know that thing was there. Thanks so much for saving me again. Are you feeling okay, Himichi? You seem like you might be a little bummed. Oh no, do I look that bad? Well, not bad, maybe a little lonely. I wonder what that looks like. If I do look lonely, it's probably because I'm a little sad. Even if it was only for show, I still feel like the person I like was taken away from me. You know what I mean, don't you? Of course I understand what you mean. You were just getting into character. I guess that's right. It's like Hideyoshi said. I might be a little jealous, too. What? If you and Minami like the same guy, it would bug me, even if you were pretending. <laughs> Just for funsies, let's say you were in that exact situation. What would you do about it, Akihisa? Uh, well, let me see. I guess I would most likely think really hard about it. Wait, you would most likely think about it? Yeah, I'd think really hard about it in my own way then be, like, way honest with everything. But I wanted you to tell me which one of us you would pick. <gasps> what? Oh, no, I didn't say anything. I was pretty surprised, though. You were? About what? Well, it's just that the way you were talking earlier didn't make it seem like you were acting. I thought you might, you know. <laughs> Did you used to perform in plays or something? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> What do you want? Uh, I'm sorry about earlier. Whatever. Shouldn't you be making out with Mizuki or something? 
Oh, we should be thinking of another strategy. I mean, if we lose against Class B, Himaji might have to change schools and would be stuck trying to replace her. What are you trying to say, jerk? Why is it always about Mizuki with you? Why does she get to be the only one who matters? She's not. Well, you could have fooled me. Why do you care about my feelings? You treat me like I'm a guy. What? It's not like that, I swear. If they try to make her move, I'll talk to Mizuki's parents and you can be together forever. Me to me? Just stay out of my life, all right? I don't ever want to see you again. And now to recap the lo- oh. Namoto Kyoji, the Class B rep, was planning to declare war on Class F. He figured their fighting power was low since they just finished their suspension. Akihisa and friends then decided to provoke Class D, hoping they would declare war first. Fighting Class D would give them time to take their recovery test and rebuild their strength. They figured Class B would be less likely to strike if Class F had a little more fuel in their tank, so to speak. To get these attention, we decided Akihisa and Minami should pretend to be dating. That would really piss off Miharu and it would be on. But now that whole plan is shot, so here we are. <laughs> Man, you're such a troll. I can't believe you screwed this up. What the hell were you thinking? How does any of that dramatic crap help what we're trying to do, man? Sorry. I definitely think more acting lessons were required here. I thought Shimada and Himichi were very believable, though. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Why do you care about my feelings? You treat me like I'm a guy! Hey, Koda. What are things looking like over there in Class B? They're currently about 70% recovered, and it actually looks like some of them are already getting ready for the next war. Then they're moving faster than I thought. That's kind of scary. They're really on a mission. We have to figure out how to stall them. So get ready, Coda. I'm gonna need you to start a rumor in Class B. Hit me with it. Tell them Class D is prepping for an ST war, and Class B is their target. What? Do you really think that's gonna work? The only thing Nomoto really cares about is getting back on top. The dude wants to win, period. He'll try to avoid fighting series of wars to keep his class from getting exhausted. If he finds out Class D is after them hardcore, he'll lay off of us for a while. Makes sense. It's not like Class F's equipment is a prize for anyone. So Hideyoshi, you're up. It's now your job to draw Miharu Shimizu out of Class D. You'll be the one to hang on Minami and make Lesitron want to attack us. As soon as they strike, we're home free. So brush up, bro. But why do I have to do it? Thanks for giving me the opportunity to go over how Akihisa ruined our entire lives again and how we can't use him or Himiji for this task anymore. Oh, yeah. I'm on it. Are you hungry? Who, me? Yes, you. Are you hungry? Now that you mention it, I could go for a sandwich. That is never good news, my friend. You are the cornerstone of this operation, and we need to fill you up with something good so you'll be ready to fight. Isn't that right, Himiji? What? Yeah, I mean... If he's hungry, he won't be able to focus on getting the job done. So that's on you, then. Find something to stuff his face I with. I forgot! I had lunch already, and I'm pretty stuffed. I couldn't swallow another mouthful. Is that the lunch you're talking about? Huh? It's delicious. Ah, how could you do that to me? You were asking for it, man. So, Himiji, you think you can make something for Akihisa? Sure, I'd be delighted to. Hey, what are you trying to do? Feed you. Now what do you feel like eating? I don't know! <laughs> If I pick something healthy, I just might survive. We don't have all day, you know. Okay, there have to be as few ingredients as possible so there's less chance she'll poison me. I choose boiled eggs! Sounds perfect. Akihisa would like you to make him some jello. I don't even know what's in that! What if it slows me down? We have to make sure you eat during the operation. Make sure to put it in aluminum pouches so he can carry it. I wanted to be able to see what color it is in there! I knew it! I won't let you do it! Can you at least tell me what kind you're making so I'll have some idea? You're gonna have to knock it off. Look, calm down. Nobody's really gonna make you eat that. I needed her to help us make some more weapons, that's all. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so in the first place? Because now she's gonna try to feed it to you, and that's gonna be freaking hysterical. You're a cold-hearted snake! <laughs> first thing on the list is to get the gelatin and sugar nice and ready. Not bad. She looks like she knows what she's doing. Oh, that's good. Now to mix the cocoa powder in with the corn fattage, like chocolate-covered popcorn. Whoa! Where did she get that recipe from? Shh, shut up, she'll hear you. Will it be the orange or the scallion? They're both so good, I can't decide. Seriously? You didn't have to think about that one! <laughs> Knock it off, yo. She's trying to pick ingredients that are the most nutritious. You ungrateful turd. Scallions are much healthier, especially with natto. Oh, it's not. Wait a minute, I think I remember reading something about natto that says it's not as good for our blood flow as we once thought. Safe! But it's still an excellent source 
as usual. That was seriously impressive. Some are just born with it. That was a nice little warm-up, though. How were you able to do that without anyone noticing? You're asking too many questions. What's important here is that now Nemoto sees this as a warning casualty from Class D. Good. Now we have time to prepare. Yep. So, how have negotiations been going? We agreed to meet in one of the empty classrooms. Minami said she would be there as well. And that's where the magic happens. We've got this thing in the bag. How do we know for sure those guys are going to respond to that? Oh, I've got it all worked out. Just leave it to me. There is still one thing that kind of worries me. What is it? Did something happen? I saw Nomoto earlier. He was talking very intensely to someone in Class A. Class A, huh? That's very strange. I wonder what it was about. There you are. Uh, Shoko! What... what do you want? I can't believe this. Why are you still at school? Why wouldn't I be at school? I'm so sorry. I just heard that your mom collapsed today. No way. Are you positive it was my mom? You're making that up. The woman's never even had a cold. She needs you. Let's go check on her. I can't go anywhere right now. I'm in the middle of something very important. This is your mother we're talking about. She's fine. I'll check on her when I get done. You're done now. Let me go. What's wrong with you? Something's fishy here, and it's not fish. What do you mean? Is he okay? I don't know. Why wouldn't Yuji be the first one they contacted about his mother? Maybe because they couldn't reach him? He said he had to take his phone in for repairs. Then they could have just used the PA system. So then that means that Nomoto was probably talking to someone in Class A about all this. He knew Yuji would go with Shoko. That evil son of a... This sucks. If I understood right, our next step in the operation was to piss off Miharu so she'd attack Yuji. You never heard anything about this? Not a peep. What is Nomoto trying to do? Do you think he may have figured out our strategy? No, but he's probably trying to buy some time as well. I bet he's trying to keep us at bay until he figures out exactly what Class D is planning. Well played, Moto. Better late than never, right? Minami, hi. I only came here because I know you can't do this without me, okay? So what's our plan of action now? Yeah, I guess we have to do something. Yuji isn't here, so we have no choice but to handle this on our own! Enough of that. Minami is Akihisa's girlfriend. What they have is like beautiful and stuff. 
I won't let you come between them. I'm done, just as we planned. What sort of insanity are you spitting at me? Are you trying to tell me that my gumdrop princess wants anything to do with that moldy muffin wrap? Look at that face. Is that a face that loves troll boys? What makes an egg fart like you think you're worthy of the ginger snap goddess? No, you're right. I'm not exactly a stud. I'm pretty scrawny and I'm not smart, but... I don't care. That doesn't matter. This goes way beyond looks or skills, you shallow ass. This is much more complicated. I've had my eye on you for a long time now, and the way you treat people you supposedly care about is disgusting. My princess is in the same class as both you and Himiji, but for some reason you treat them both very differently. You are as sweet as candied apples when it comes to Himiji. Treat her like she's the princess. But when it comes to my love, not only are you rude and inconsiderate, but it's like you forget she's a girl altogether. Are you that stupid? Do you not see the charm and delicacy that oozes from her every pore? What kind of pig brain idiot treats someone like her as just one of the guys? This is not just an assessment of your miserable looks or your embarrassing suggestion of academic skill. You make me sick. This is about a black soul who would throw the heart of a perfect angel in the trash just to pursue someone as average as Himiji. It's pathetic. You think Minami's a guy? Ma'am, you really must be dumber than you look, Akihisa. <laughs> Minami! What happens when you catch up to her? You gonna wrestle with her and call her names until you both laugh and then spit shake on it? Yeah, why don't you go remind her why she should hate you? I'll go talk to her. Ihara's right, we don't want to make things any worse right now. Uh, I don't know what's going on in here, but I'm pretty sure I'm not needed. Did you really come to shove your sorry excuse for love in my face? Because I'll tell you right now, you are not worthy to compete with me for anyone's heart. You need to prove something, obviously, but love is not about who wants to fight for what you have. And even if it was, I'm the only one who gets how hard you have to fight for someone like her. So I've already won. Iharu, wait. I don't have anything more I want to say to you. No, you've said it all. But there's something I need to tell you no matter what happens. The second year students of Class D hereby declare war on Class F! I don't get it. What's happening now? I thought you guys said it didn't go as planned. We weren't expecting a war. Now what? It's gonna be tough fighting with this low level of strength. Don't worry. It's part of our plan. Hyoji! Just as we thought it was a bunch of strategic BS. My mom's fine and healthy as a donkey. You mean horse, but that's awesome. Way to step it up, Aki, my man. Yeah. It didn't go exactly as we planned, but you still managed to hit the target and unleash the chick beast. And now we're at war. But I don't know how we'll be able to fight them all. It's true. We'll never survive in an all-out battle. Which means we'll have to fight representatives one-on-one. -on -one. I have to say I'm impressed you didn't run away. My thoughts exactly. Believe me, the last thing I want to do is battle my love squirrel. But if it means a chance at making jerk jerky out of this pig, it's worth it. I guess we'll see about that. Okay, it's all you from here on out, buddy. Make me proud, son. I am all over this one. You're gonna pay for what you've done. I hope you're ready, dork. May we have permission? I approve! I've been waiting for this! Ready? And Somebody! Before we begin, I have a question I want to ask you. What's that? What you said earlier. Did you make all that up just so you could start this war with Class D? Right. I should have known. Before we left, I saw her tear up. I knew it was because the things I said touched her. I understood her pain. Pain you caused her! She should never even have to know those feelings exist! How are you allowed to be in her presence? You should be chained and locked up! You couldn't be trusted to hold a conversation with her without manipulating and then dismissing her feelings! It's not fair! It's not fair! You lied to her! You used her! You only pretended to be her friend so that you could keep her around for battle! You don't give a crap about her! You're wrong. I was telling the truth! I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I know there are some things you never joke about. Ever. I was telling the truth! 
wrong. Why should I believe a word you say? They weren't just words. What I said was exactly how I feel. I'm not falling for it a second time. That's enough. Take it from here on out. You're kidding. This is foul play. You can't do that. You can call it whatever you want. This isn't some kind of game. This is war. It's war. Oh, uh... Go get him, boys. Stop it, traitors! Negotiating a ceasefire was the best thing to do. It doesn't matter. You still hurt my love, kitten, and that part hasn't changed. Uh, and I'm so sorry for that, from the bottom of my... Yeah! I'm only letting you off the hook this easily because I believe some of the things you told me were true. Uh, so just imagine what you'd be getting if you had lied. And that's what I call a sweet deal. All right, guys, let's head back. Good job. Exactly the way they seem. Yeah, I know you're not really dating my buttercup. That was painfully obvious. Hey, look, that's not what I mean. Uh, I promise you, you're not the only one who recognizes how amazing Mina me is. I can't believe you're still trying. Do you not get that I saw you say awful things to her? I saw you treat her like a guy, and I saw her crying because of it. Okay, listen. I don't treat her like a princess. You're right. I'm probably acting the same way around her as I would my guy friends, the, the way I joke and stuff. But that's because... Because why? Be careful. Because I don't have to. Mina Me is someone I can just be myself around. I don't have to put on an act for her. I love hanging out with her because we just get each other's weirdness. You can't get around with most girls like that. And it's the dude part that makes her so hot. You just said she was hot. Yeah, I heard it too. I don't disagree, but I'm surprised you said it out loud. Me too. So romantic. Why? Why is this happening to me? Why did they, out of all people, have to hear it? I don't know. Something about that was just so sweet and beautiful. You said the dude parts made her hot. My heart is beating so fast. You can be yourself around her. Someone kill me, please. This sucks. No, don't stretch my arms. <laughs> Uh, Mina Me. That's my name. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, it is. I'm sorry about yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about, so you just told on yourself. What lies are you spreading? <laughs> Nothing, that's not what I mean. Good, because next time you pull a stunt like that, I'm not letting you off without a punch. a whiz kid in Minazuki Elementary? That rumor snaked its way through the school several years ago. The whiz kid in question was indeed somewhat smarter than the other students. On top of that, he was unusually focused and a diligent hard worker. All the adults sang his praises and had understandably high hopes for him. Then one day... Didn't you get even better scores than the kids from junior high? Yeah, I guess. See, that's amazing. 
that sixth graders who took the test with you were not happy about it either. I made a mistake on the social science test. Otherwise, I would have been number one. Back then, I always wanted to be the best. I needed it. I heard you're gonna get admitted to the best junior high around on a recommendation alone. Yeah, easy enough for me. Though, most other kids won't stand a chance. Unfortunately, I had an ego that was completely intertwined with superiority complex. Will you please keep working, Shoko? I want to finish this so I can go home. But I was hoping we could stay here and talk for a while. I want to go home. But I want to talk. I don't. Yes. I said no. Yes. No! You want to know something? I think my boobs are getting bigger and bigger every day. Are you alright, Yuchi? Seriously? Where in the hell did that come from? You were attempting to ignore me, so I decided to bring up something a boy would find interesting. Nice try, but I still don't care. That may not have been entirely true. Will you please just get back to work? I don't mind working, but I want to talk with you, too. Don't you ever talk to your friends? Yes, that is exactly what I'm trying to do now. Yeah, lucky me. Shoko didn't quite fit in with the rest of the school. She came from a well-known family, was at the top of her class, had incredible athletic talent, and of course was beautiful. She was the lucky one. Everyone resented her for it. Good morning. My name is Shoko. Talk to her. Why? You're the one who wants to, you butthead. Yeah, I think you want her to be your very first girlfriend. No, I don't. Hey, what do you think? Is that Karishima girl trying to act too cute? Her family's rich. I bet she's a spoiled princess. She's not easy to talk to, that's for sure. I know, right? With the way all those kids behave towards her, it's no wonder Shoko ended up getting attached to me. After all, I treated everyone the same, no matter what. So it's already been two years since you transferred to this school, hasn't it? Yeah. I have more friends now than I did back then. Don't have a whole lot. But school's more fun than it used to be. Wait, you think school is fun? Well, when I'm at home, no one plays with me or even talks to me for the most part. And the house is so big, I get lonely. So yeah, school is fun in comparison. Jeez, cry me a river. I wish I could feel lonely and sad in a big house like that. You can come hang out at my house if you want to. I don't. It's like a hundred times more fun reading than hanging out with you. That was mean. I'm just being honest. Stick in the mud. Say whatever you want to say. Pig-headed. Keep it up. Oh, Yuchi? Hmm? I think you might have a little crush on me. And because of that, you're too nervous to hang out at my home. Why do you want me to go to your house so badly in the first place? Well... Well, what? Spit it out. My grandfather talks about sending me to an all-girls academy a lot. Are you talking about that famous Richie school for chicks? Are you going to change schools again? Probably. He seems to think I get picked on more than most kids at school do. So you want to show off your friends to your family so they won't think you're lonely and miserable? I don't... I don't want to change schools. I actually have made some friends besides you, so you know. Then take those weirdos to your house. We're not close enough for that yet. Oh. Well, either way, that's got nothing to do with me. I treated everyone the same, no matter what. I was equally uninterested in all of them. At least that's what I told myself. That was mean, Yuchi. No, it wasn't. Was too. Was not. Was too. Was not. Yuchi. In our entire class, I've got the biggest of the boobies. Shoko! Even so, you the attention I gave class. seemed to be enough for a girl who happened to be very lonely. What's up, Sakamoto? Where do you think you're
we're going, freak. We got something we want to talk to you about. Yeah, that's right. This is why I wanted to head home early. What? Can't hear you, turd. Turd? Really? What do you all want? I don't have time to waste on a bunch of losers. Shut up! Try having a little respect for your elders. You sure are a smartass for a fifth grade baby. Uh, you've been waiting for this since I beat your scores on that test, haven't you? Don't you have anything better to do, like friends to hang out with? Or maybe you guys are too pathetic to have any friends. <laughs> uh, no, you're the one who doesn't have any friends. Don't think you're better than us just because you got a few good test scores. We're in the sixth grade, kid. Watch your mouth. Watch my mouth? Are you guys stupid or what? The only reason people censor what they say is to be respectful. And why the hell would I ever want to respect a group of idiots like you? You can't say that. We're older than you. True. Yeah, you're a whole year older than me. However, I'm the one who did better on that test. You guys are hilarious. You should show a little more respect to me. <sighs> say that again, I dare you. You sure about this? If something happens to me, the teachers will definitely find out. I mean... I am the boy wonder, after all. Get lost. Also, I don't ever want to see you jerks again. That kid, like, totally pisses me off. I think we should teach him a lesson. Specifically? Well, if we can't touch him, we can at least mess with his locker or something. Yeah, then he'd get ratted out. Sounds good to me. Let's teach that little punk some manners. My baby boy is back. You're a little late today, aren't you? Yeah, I had to finish up some class rep stuff at school. Oh, well, I guess that does make the most sense, but for some reason I thought you were spending a little quality time with your lovely friend Shoko. Why the crap would I want to hang out with Shoko? Don't be stupid. But I thought you two were friends. You thought wrong. You should be. That girl is going to be incredibly gorgeous when she gets a little older. Although by that time, it might be too late and all you'll be left with is regret. Accept it. She'll be as cute as me someday. Let it go, Mom. Besides, you're not that pretty anyway. Yuji, that's mean. I'll be late again tomorrow. Oh? More work for your class again? No. I have a little something I need to teach some sixth graders. Sixth graders? Long story. Aww. What's with the apron? Please tell me you're not making dinner. <laughs> I'm making meat and potato stew. It's your favorite. I've been peeling the sweet potatoes. Yes, Mom, you can't put sweet potatoes in a stew. But why not? I thought they were better for you than regular potatoes. And they don't get as soft They're supposed either. to get soft, and I don't care if they're better for me or not. At least it might be edible this time. Oh, I forgot to buy meat at the store, so I guess you could say we're having meatless meat and potato stew. Are you saying we're just having steamed sweet potatoes? Since they couldn't beat me up, I knew they'd try to do something to my stuff. That's probably why I provoked them in the first place. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I grabbed the things I don't want them to mess with from my locker and kept them with me. I thought I'd kill time until the sixth graders made their move. Once they started in on my locker, I planned on going to get a teacher. Okay. In the meantime, I'll start reading another book. At that time, I believed I was a hero. Mostly because I also believed I was better than everyone else. Weird. Where's Shoko been all day? She hasn't followed me around like she usually does. Baka and Test. Back then, I spent as much time as Yuji would let me following him around. I didn't even treated me just like he treated everyone else, and I liked that. <sighs> I wonder if Yuji is still here. <laughs> I enjoyed being around him. I simply couldn't help myself. Damn it! Not here either! That guy's such a punk. I don't know, maybe somebody else decided they wanted to hide his shoes too, so they just beat us to the punch. It's possible. That nerd doesn't have a lot of friends. He gets picked on all the time. There's plenty of other stuff we can mess with. What do you guys think we should write? How about, I like to cheat on all my tests. Sound good? Hell, Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> Stop that now! <gasps> Those are... They're not yours. What do you want? Um, well, it's just that... 
Those are your keys. And you, you shouldn't be messing with them. What? This is none of your business. Get the hell out of here. I can't do that. Yuji is my friend. If Yuji finds out what I'm doing, he's going to be so mad at me. So I thought. Nonetheless. You're wrong about that. Stop! I didn't think he had any friends. I know. She's a girl. Come on, guys. Who cares about her? Let's just do what we came here to do. Good point. This is gonna be awesome. Stop it! Hey! Let go of me! I thought Yuji would get mad, and I was afraid he'd tell those boys I wasn't really his friend. Uh, enough Stop already! It. Go away! <laughs> She's crazy! For real! What's her problem? Stop! You're asking for it, you know that? But I didn't care what they said. Let go! No! Hey, are you okay? Uh, uh, look at what you did to my new shirt, you stupid brat! Now I'm pissed! Too late for sorry. Well, I wonder if they've fallen into my trap yet. All oh, right, they're doing it. They like me laughing no, now. Funny. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Why is Shoko in there? <sighs> Don't tell me. It was obvious why Shoko had been dragged into it. Either way, she needed someone to help her out. I have to save her. Yes. Like the hero that I always wanted to be. Plus, those guys were all practically idiots. It was me that was the overly intelligent special one. Not to mention we were in completely different leagues, so why hesitate? We'll be fine. Don't be scared. Guys like them, they're no big deal. Don't kid yourself, buddy. There are three of them. Hey, I know. I'll go get a teacher. Shoko. The teacher's gonna tell her parents, and then they'll think their little girl gets picked on all the time. It'll make Shoko change schools for sure. <laughs> Whatever, what else am I supposed to do? It's not like it has anything to do with me anyway. What else can you do? You know exactly what you can do, Yuji. Man, this sucks! I just wanted to make them pay for being so mean to me! Okay, then pretend you didn't see this and walk away. You know there's no way I could do that! No matter what choice you make, you're gonna get hurt. One way or another, you'll be the one who pays. That being said, you've gotta do what you've gotta do. We're talking about three sixth graders here! I'm not strong enough, no way I could beat those guys! How do you think Shoko feels about it? Yeah, but still... I know. Getting beat up is pretty scary, isn't it? Of course, duh! I thought you were a hero. But a true hero wouldn't exactly hesitate, right? Even if he was totally sure he was gonna lose. Yeah, he'd do it. Shut up! That stuff only happens in the movies! Ass! You're the one who's been acting better than those guys in the first place, right? Yeah, but their scores... It's not easy being smart, is it? I know how you feel. But quit making asinine excuses and trying to find a way out of this. So what, are you telling me it's better to be an idiot? <laughs> I guess so. An idiot who'd jump in there to save her without even stopping to think? Yeah, he'd be a hell of a lot cooler than you are. I don't get it. I don't get why all this is happening to me. I didn't do anything, so why am I the one who has to suffer? This isn't my fault at all. If Eddie wants to blame, it's those guys for being insecure jerks and Shoko for butting in. It's their fault. So why is this happening to me? should be screaming for help right now. All she has to do is ask. Say it, Shoko. Just say somebody help me already, and then even if the teachers find out and her parents make her change schools, that's all because of her, not me. It's still not my fault. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Come on, Shoko. Say it. Ask for help. Changing schools is better than being picked on, right? All you have to do is ask. Just say the words! Ask for help! Say it! Say it! Say it! I won't! I won't say it! They'll make me change schools again! Why? Why? Hey, you guys are a bunch of jerks! What the hell are you doing? Don't you assholes realize how crazy-
lousy, pathetic you all are? What kind of guy beats up on a girl? Sakamoto? Look who decided to show up. Come on, let's go home, Shoko. Wait! Sorry, bro. Not so fast. You two aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Yuji. Shoko is going home. But... Now! I'll go get a teacher. No! Don't be an idiot! Just go home! I don't want you here getting in my way! responsibility and I have to make up for it. It wasn't. You're wrong, Yuji. There's more to our story. You just never knew. sure that's all there is to it? Yeah, that's all. They pissed me off so I punched them. Will you please get off my back already? <sighs> they made you mad. Right. I'm sorry. It's my fault. He was only trying to protect me and I was... Sorry. Don't worry about it. You've already told me what happened and I promise you everything is going to be all right. How can it be? He's going to be known as a bad kid. And he won't get that recommendation for junior high now. Oh, I don't care about all that. Oh, Shoko. Listen, Yuji found out there's more to him than just being a smart kid. Without you, he never could have realized that, so I'm actually very grateful. Uh, uh, Mrs. Sakamoto? What is it, Shoko? I'm all ears. Um, when I grow up, I'm... Well, I'm going to marry Yuji. Are you positive? It is a big decision. I promise I'll make him happy. Oh, if you want to know the truth, dear, that's really something he should say to you. I won't disagree. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll do whatever I can to make sure he says the very same line to you one day. Really? Yes, really. Now that is, of course, as long as you don't stop liking him so much by then, okay? Oh, I won't. I promise. Phenomenon struck out of the blue. This armor's pretty fancy for Akihisa's lame avatar. I know, he's practically life size. <laughs> Guys, excuse me! Haven't you noticed this thing at all? You mean its nasty head? Yeah, we have. Now get out of my face, it's creepy. I guess that thing's not gonna run errands for me, is it? you be worried about something else here? Hey, losers! How is everyone this morning? Uh, hey, we're all right. And how are you two? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, singing like that freaked us out. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm sorry I scared you. Good. I mean, it is your fault, so thanks for the apology. I think it's just him. I wonder if the rest of our avatars have changed too. There's only one way to find out. turning into monsters, but I think they somehow represent what our true natures are. That's awesome! I wonder what my real nature is. I bet he symbolizes my chivalrous spirit. Akihisa, don't fool yourself. You know the truth. Or maybe it means I'm strong, or even that I have a big swinging sword because I'm so manly. Yeah, well, he doesn't have a head. That probably just means you're a nerd. Why? Why'd you have 
to be so cruel. You can't drop an Odyssey bomb on me. That shrapnel hurts. Truth can be the most painful of shrapnel. Yuji's avatar doesn't really look all that much different than he does. It's a doppelganger. What the heck are you saying? This is the nasty man beast known as Yuji Sakamoto. He's almost as mean and vicious as he is on you. Don't come in your face, sucker. You're out of control, Yuji. You kicked my avatar's head like it was a soccer ball. What kind of piece of crap friend does that? Seriously, Aki, don't be such a girl. Haven't you heard the saying? You know the one, my friend is a ball. It's supposed to be the ball is my friend! Somewhere before the Sunakawa duo. Quit huh? doing that to our name! During the school festival, the Sunakawa duo. Blah, blah, blah. They're jerks. You guys need to keep it down. We can hear your racket all the way from the year three classroom and can't study. Outrageous. And a lie. What? This is class F on the third floor, morons. Year three class A is in a completely different building and on a different floor. Indeed. It's hard to imagine we're being that loud. You probably got bored of studying and were wandering around when you heard Akihisa's stupid, silly voice. So you decided to take it out on all of us, right? Did you just randomly blame me for them being here? It doesn't matter! Gah! The fact still remains you guys are all annoying as hell. We got your number. You're yeah. the two backs who got suspended for starting a peaking rebellion. What are you gonna do if that messes up the school's reputation and our college interest exams in the process? What do they want you to do? Say you're sorry? I don't think so. They probably want to hear that from you. We're talking about the both of you! Okay, you're kidding us now, huh? It's time we taught you miserable idiots a lesson about respect. Yeah, the math teacher's here. Perfect timing. Summon! Attack Akihisa. Not on my watch. Haru! And what's Fubo doing here? They're like the same creature. Mm -hmm. Lost gods. Monsters lost on the path of humans who try to get you to become one of them. Sounds about right. No! The time. 
time has come. Let's finish them off. Stop right there! <laughs> it's the principal tag! You'll probably want to save your remaining scores for the event you're about to be part of. What event? Wait, aren't you forgetting that you need to turn our avatars back to normal first? Yeah, like this, the best event we could come up with is a haunted house. Well done. You seem to have pretty good intuition for an idiot. And we're holding the first ever Courage Contest between grades choosing our avatars! What's a Courage Contest? contest? Basically, you screwed up the system again on that last tune-up, right? This'll be fun. Perhaps I should have you jeans manage the event. Now then, year two and year three. Which one of you wants to be Ghost and Goblin? We'll do it because we're older and scarier. Plus, there's still that lesson and respect they have to learn. The year three students will be the ghost and the goblins, and the year two students will have to find a way to brave the haunted house. Rules for the courage contest between grades. Ooh. Challengers will brave the haunted house in groups of two. When the challengers scream or make noises louder than a set sound volume while traversing the haunted house, they shall be disqualified immediately. Challengers will fight avatar battles with haunted house inhabitants at four separate checkpoints. If they win, they will clear that checkpoint and continue to the next. If they clear all four checkpoints, the challengers win. However, if all the challengers are defeated, the haunted house inhabitants will be the victors. Huh. You know, I don't think just competing is enough, do you? Maybe we ought to decide on a penalty game for when they lose. All right, boys, shut up. I never said you could make up your own rules. This is an academy event. Yeah, but... But we always do that. Always do what? Cry like a girl? As long as you two posers are at one of those checkpoints, you'll eventually be able to fight us one-on-one. -on -one. Isn't that right? Very good point! We'll beat you down with everything we've got! Huh? Huh? Why me? What did I do? contest between grades got underway. They worked really hard on this. Thank you. Yeah, but all of this stuff is still super fake. It's not really that scary. <laughs> Totally. 
suddenly awesome. They're gonna freak out for sure when they see you like this. Fabulous. All right. I'm off to go give those pathetic delinquents the scare of a lifetime. <laughs> Mikami, are you hurt? Let me help you back up. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Hey, did you see something weird on the screen just now? Weird like what? Hear me, Kami. There's no need to worry, my dear. I'll protect you. Everything in here is so obvious and. Damn! That little bastard has gone too far! No! Their way of winning is as dirty and disgusting as that dirty, disgusting face on the screen! That's scarier than his clothes! I'm gonna have nightmares now! Strike units disqualified. Ah, damn it all! What are we gonna do now? How can anyone get past that disgusting face? Leave it to me, guys. Coda, no! You need a partner first. I don't mind going in. Let's do this then. I'll show him a thing or two about terror. We might as well get this over with. Stop it! Check their avatars. They look awfully big and strong, don't they? It's adorable. I see that. Let's roll. Stop it! <laughs> Consider a clear view, but I think the faceless one took a split second to get totally naked, beat up all her opponents, and put her clothes back on. Why did she have to take off her clothes? Within that short period of time, Coda's nose bled. He stopped the bleeding and performed his own blood transfusion. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! At this rate, they might actually be able to clear all the checkpoints. Yeah, I doubt it. It's about to get rough in there. The next checkpoint should be coming up pretty soon, right? I think so. Coda, what's the matter? Welcome. My name is Aoi Kogure, and I'm in Year 3, Class A. I'm also a member of the Tea Ceremony Club. Uh, no! Focus, Koda! You're stronger than her! Right! <laughs> of course you are, silly. Surprise, though. I'm wearing an entirely different uniform under this one. You sneaky lady! Perhaps. Regardless, I belong to another group, too! The Rhythmic Gymnastics Club!
I do not like this. I hate haunted houses and all the stupid things they stand for. Who's there? Oh, it's just a couple of girls. Good call, man. Dirty chick tricks won't work on those two. Yep, and don't forget, Yuko is from Class A. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Obviously, my work here is done. Till next time. I'll leave them to you, boys! On it! Summon them! Let's ignore how it looks. His score's not that high. Summon! Summon! How come you get to be a sexy cat girl and I'm just a plain old cat? Maybe it has something to do with you always playing coy. Kenoshita, I, uh, well, see, the thing is, I'm in love with you! <laughs> that day, for the first time in my life, Last time, Akihisa and the gang suddenly found themselves participating in an intergrade courage contest. Due to the adept strategy of the Year 3 students, led by Sunamura and Natsukawa, also known as the Sunakawa duo, the gang found themselves in a bitter struggle. Yada, yada, yada. Let's find out what happens next. What are we gonna do now? Most of our class has been taken out by Year 3 already. We've got a weapon. A secret weapon, so don't worry. A secret weapon? Huh? What, what do, do you mean? mean? I swear the secret weapons, huh? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm not scared at all, are you? <laughs> nice. That was scary. You okay? Yep, well, sort of. I'm just not used to seeing Japanese goblins. German goblins would be a different story. <laughs> classroom is drafty, so it's usually cold. That's not what I meant! I was talking about something important! Okay, like what? It's just that, well, I... <laughs> Mina me! What happened? Oh, I'm back. Oh, welcome back, Akihisa. 
Hey, where did Mimi me go? I dropped her off at the nurse's office. She pushed herself too hard and needed to rest. Well played, Aki. The plan went off without a hitch. so fast. The fight won't be a big deal for Shoko, but my physics score is 150 at the most. That's gonna make for a pretty rough battle. Bummer. We need another pair to go in there, but I don't think there's anyone left. But there is another pair left. Right there. Huh? Who, me? I mean, I know I'm not disqualified like I didn't scream or anything, but me and me can't go back inside. Not her. Just think about it. There's another girl here who hasn't been inside the haunted house yet and isn't Shoko. I got nothing. Akihisa, I think they might be talking about me. She can't. She's afraid of ghosts and goblins big time. She won't make it. You're wrong. I can't do it. Minami was afraid too. But she didn't let that stop her and neither should I. Don't worry. I'll do it. I'm going into that haunted house with Akihisa. Oh, could you walk a little slower, please? Yeah, sure. I'm not afraid. I'm fine. I'm not scared at all. I'm with Akihisa, so I don't have any You know what? No, I don't know what. I'm glad you came in. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm always depending on you, so it seemed like it was your turn to depend on me. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Plus, I don't mind it at all when you depend on me. <laughs> you're really cute, and you're like way smart. On top of that, you're super sweet. It's like I'm protecting a princess. <laughs> the only weird part is that you're hanging out with a guy like me. Okay. I'm fine, but you should know I'm not a princess. I'm a klutz. I get really jealous for no reason, and I have a tendency to faint. I'm so not a princess. Come on, that's not- Yes, it is! You've just refused to accept the truth for some stupid reason. You don't notice anything that's not perfect about me, and I think it's so you can have a reason to keep from getting close to me. Why wouldn't I want to get close to you? I don't know. It's probably out of consideration. Your eyes see me, but I don't know if you actually see the real me. I don't think you do. Can you see the real me? This is awkward. Truck. Where am I? 
Don't worry about her. Imogi's probably joined up with Shoko by now. What? I need you to break this down. It was all a part of those year three losers scheme. I mean, it's not like either Shoko or I are going to scream at much of anything. Yeah, that's for sure. So they turned off all the lights as a way to get us separated. And once that was done, they just made a partner switch. I get it. Well, Shoko and Himaji are stronger together than they were with either of us, so it works out. Bro, tell me the truth. When I'm alone in the haunted house with Shoko, the fear I felt when she attacked me with a spike rod returns. Oh, I think I see her around the corner. He's a deflector shield! And now I know how afraid you really are. Mizuki, is anything the matter? Yes, I think so. Do you hear that? Chick, shouldn't you have screamed or something by now? They're just another obstacle. Although I was really hoping this would be our moment to trash those losers, Yoshi and Sakamoto. Yeah, I bet they ran the hell out of here. Losers and cowards. They are neither losers nor cowards. Uh huh. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know them very well, do you? They're always getting into trouble, and their grades are complete and utter crap. If those two asses aren't losers, then I don't know who is. She brings up a good point, though. Garbage might be a better term for those two. Hold on! That was too far! You are being terribly rude to garbage. <laughs> <laughs> True, garbage at least has the courtesy to stay in the dump where it belongs. You can say that again. They're idiotic losers who are too damn chicken to fight their own battle. What's wrong with you? Why are you being so awful? You know what? It may be true that Akihisa and Yuji's grades aren't the best in, like, the whole entire world. And yeah, maybe they do have a way of getting into trouble a lot, but that does not give you the right to say such mean and hateful things about them. You don't know them. They're two of the kindest and most wonderful people I've ever had the pleasure to meet. That could be, but it's a lot more likely you just don't realize how stupid they actually are. And how stupid are you to judge someone based on their grades at school? There's a lot more to life than that. Some things can't be measured with scores. Geez, will you stop yelling? They're lower than dirt and we don't care, so just get over it. They are not lower than dirt! And they're not losers at all! You're the stupid one! Seriously, shut up. You've been disqualified. Get out. You are the one yelling now. We're leaving. Come on, Mizuki. Did you hear what she said, Yuji? Apparently, you and I are pretty wonderful. That's news to me. I mean, I'm not as bad as you are, but I would have bet money that I was a giant loser. Me too. It's not like I'm as bad as you, but I could have sworn I was lower than dirt, am I right? Too bad they got disqualified. Talk about a waste. She didn't scream that whole time, and it was all for nothing. I know, right? It's just a dumb game. She didn't have to take it so seriously. Well, I guess it's up to us. Yes, it is. Shall we? Get ready, you bastards! It's, it's on, on now! now! Come on. I'm kind of overweighting for these guys, you know? Yeah, but why would they want to show up? There's no way they'll win with their scores. Surprise, we showed up. 
What took you guys so long? For real, it's about freaking time. Let's do this! Not so fast! We haven't chosen the penalty yet. What are you talking about? Hope you're not trying to get out of this, because that's not happening. Why don't you try not freaking out? It was you that mentioned the penalty in the first place, don't you remember? All right. What kind of penalty? How about the losers do whatever the winners say? Sound good enough to you? Sure, we can work with that. Let's get started, then. Summon! <laughs> There's no way you'll beat us with those numbers. You have a good point. Ready to do this, Aki? Born ready, Yuji, my man. <laughs> go! Damn it! Those idiots are running away! Well, let's go catch them then! What the hell are they doing? Where did they go? I think I heard them over there! <laughs> the haunted house isn't making this easy! You boys aren't already tired, are you? The hallway, back over there! Damn it! Hey, upperclassmen girls, we're right here! Are you? Dude, you're kind of slower than I thought! Hey, now, that's rude. Oh, man, I want them to have a lot of Oh, give them a break. This is a way to keep them all they got. <laughs> Yoshi and Takamoto, get out here! Why don't you use those big old brains of yours and find us already? Seriously, I'm getting tired of hiding. How have they not found us yet? Huh. We know exactly what you're up to! Yeah, we can see right through it, losers! <laughs> They're gone! Did we leave the physics field? <laughs> I do apologize. But this is a decoy. You didn't see through anything. I don't get it! May we have your permission to summon? <laughs> yes, you may. I approve. I'm summoning, summoning my, my avatar! avatar. Summon. summon! Guess what? We're in the math field now, suckers! You can't fight with your favorite little physics scores anymore. No, that was a dirty trick! What are you guys so upset about? There's no rule saying we can't change around the subjects at checkpoints. Don't tell me you're too afraid to fight us with anything other than physics. Come on. Don't be stupid! We're just as awesome at math as we are science! There's no way we're gonna lose to you idiots regardless! Summon! Like ah! no! That's right! Those two crazy people heard our scores this morning! They planned the whole thing! struggle. Might as well give it up. <laughs> Never! Idiots are interesting, don't you think? When they get desperate, they exhibit a downright manic ability to come through. You may have better grades than we do, but we have something that doesn't care about numbers. It's called strategy, and it's about to kick your ass! Why don't you shut the hell up? Get on with this! You asked for it! to a couple of losers. But how? I don't understand. How, how did, did we, we lose, lose to, to two idiots? idiots? That's right. We won. And now you have to face the penalty. Great. What are you gonna make us do? You have to ask? It's obvious. Himeji. Yoshi. <laughs> hey, Shoko. You'll find Mizuki up on the rooftop. Go to her now. <laughs> on my way. Thanks a lot. That was mighty considerate of you. No, it wasn't. I just have a soft spot for people who are scared but still go for it anyway. I like it. A lot. Well, I sure don't get scared. And I'm not a big go-for-it-anyway kind of guy. <laughs> You're so cute when you're in denial, Yuji. <sighs> hey, everybody's gonna go get crates to celebrate our win. Did you know? Those upperclassmen came up here just a little bit ago and apologized to me. They did that because of you, didn't they? That was sweet. I'm sorry for being so dramatic and always causing you trouble. You don't do that. <laughs> Listen, I realize you're not a princess, okay? Huh? A princess wouldn't have been strong enough or smart enough to stand up to those guys like you did. Oh, that wasn't a big deal. Thanks, Himeji. You made me really happy. On top of that, you got Yuji and me to focus for once. Thank you, Akimisa. That's so nice of you to say. <laughs> you 
want to get going now? I'm pretty sure they're waiting for us. Wait, not yet. There's something I want to ask you about first. Something like what? It's, um... Well, uh... I was just wondering, do you think you could start calling me Mizuki instead of Himachi from now on? <laughs> it's just that you've been calling Minami by her first name for like ever. But you and I have known each other ever since we were kids and you still don't call me by mine. Yeah, but the thing is there's a really complicated reason for that though. But what's so complicated about it? It's just that you and I... I mean, we both went to the same elementary school, right? We did. So when I try, you know, like, saying your first name... It just sounds weird in the voice I have now, that's all. That's a big lie! Since we started high school together, I haven't heard you even once try to call me by my first name. That's, well, cuz... Don't laugh. Promise me you won't laugh. I promise I won't. You swear? I swear it! Okay, well, here I go then. Yeah? I practice it at home. What? It's true. I practice saying your first name. <laughs> oh. No, I was just kidding! You didn't hear anything! <laughs> okay. Then I suppose I should tell you a secret of mine too, shouldn't I? Here I go. I've already had my first love, and it's still going strong. Let's hurry up and go! We don't want to be late, do we? Sec, Himaji, what, what did you say? What the crap, Aki? Why didn't you tell me you were coming up here? Me to me. You promised me that you would stay by my side forever, you jerk. <laughs> Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Explain yourself. Out of my way, Mubaki! According to the contract you signed, if we didn't reach the goal together, we're supposed to get married immediately. Get her away from me! Yuji, wait for me! There is no escape. Where are you going? You have some explaining to do! I guess it's nice to know some things never change. Kids go again. What a bunch of idiots.
began. Students were decorating and preparing their contributions. Students does not include year two, class F. Play ball! They were playing baseball. Come on, Yoshi, let's go! Bring it, you're so on. All right, what have you got for me, Yuji? Curveball, on it. That is head? What the fun house? Your place, I'm not gonna beam Sugawa! No holding back, right in here. You're nuts, I can't do that! Hey, you punks, that better not be the smell of slacking off! The Iron Man, hi! Yoshi, what do you think you're doing? I'm standing on a hill doing what everyone else is doing! Why do you always pick on me? It's not fair! The class rep's right there! Isn't he supposed to be in charge? Pork ball? Throw it where? At his junk? Damn it! Stop being a juice! I'm not gonna do this! See what I mean? It's all his fault! Shut up! All of you just go back to your classroom! You're the only ones who don't have a plan for the festival! I suggest you get on it! Check it out. We have to decide what to do for this festival. So if you have any ideas, just raise your hand. Coda, what you got for me? Art gallery. And what kind of art are you hoping to show? Mystery photos. What's that supposed to mean? Just what it says. Photos of mystery. Only in our booth, we reveal the secrets. Well, it's a start. Go ahead and write it down. Alrighty. Photo... Gallery? See? Or mystery? And that's where we reveal stuff and things. Got it. Great. Anyone else? Imogy, let's hear it. I was thinking, maybe it would be fun to build a little wedding cafe. It's like maid cafes, except all the girls wear wedding dresses instead. OMG, it's perfect. All the girls are going to love that. Probably as much as the guys. No guy would be caught dead in that cafe. <laughs> you got that? Write it down. I think I remembered all that. So it's a wedding restaurant, or any other ideas? We could also do a Chinese cafe. No other class would do that. We could serve dip them. Plus, Chinese culture is super deep, like emo deep. They're almost as hardcore as the Europeans, except with pandas. You get all that? Write it down. Think so? A Chinese European emo panda cafe thing? Dude, what the heck did you just say? You can't just write down every other word, buddy. Turdlings, what jolly holiday ideas have you come up with? Hi. We have at least three right now. You must want a remedial class. That's fine by me. Why would we want that? Pathetic. You little brats amaze me sometimes. This is a great opportunity for you. Don't you want to make some money so you can upgrade your crap equipment? Wait, so does that mean we could buy new desks with the money we make? Whoa, I never even thought of it that way. I can't believe that would be allowed. Awesome! Your scores don't seem to be improving. And there's really nowhere else to go after cardboard boxes. Unfortunately, it makes me wonder if the equipment is interfering with your studies. If so, we have our priorities wrong. Punishing you should not be more important. I'll talk to the principal about it today. Do you mean it? What is this world you speak of where we don't have to study atop cardboard mats? <laughs> if I can, it would really help me convince Dad. What's your dad have to do with this? Uh, nothing. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, you were saying that sounds awesome. All right, we're ready to take a vote then. Which of these three what ideas just you guys happened? That's awesome. <laughs> We're gonna get so many customers with this. Hope so. We seriously cannot afford to fail this time, Aki. Bring your A-game, promise? What do you mean, this time? Well, I told her I wasn't gonna say anything, but it's Mizuki. Her parents are wanting her to switch schools. Did she just say what I think she said? <laughs> Change schools? She can't do that. We still have so much we have to do together. She's the only slice of a mental break I have from Class F. What's gonna happen to us all if she changes schools? I know exactly what will happen. Everyone will fall into a deep depression. We'll have no choice but to grow mohawks just like in Fist of the North Star. Violence will break out. There will be looting in the streets. And the only woman left for us to fight for will be Hideyoshi! <laughs> Take 
think he might be having a system meltdown. Like he has a system to start with. Come on, you gotta snap out of it! Yoshi, would you still love me if I had a mohawk? It would come with washboard abs. Where did that come from? You're so weird sometimes. What does that have to do with Mizuki changing schools? <gasps> Why do they want her to uh, change in the middle of the year? They're just worried about her. They don't think her grades will improve if she has to stay in Class F. That's not all. It's the whole environment here. She's around dudes who only come to school to screw around all day. If I was her old man, I'd be worried too. <laughs> so yeah, they think if she goes to a school with a more normal environment, she'll be able to focus. Or convince her dad to keep her here. That's what she meant, huh? So maybe, if we buy a full set of decent equipment, it'll look like a normal school and she'll be able to stay. Good plan. That means we can't fail. You got that? Hey, you guys, we're back! What is that stuff? It's a dish Koda made for the Chinese Culture Cafe. We were hoping that you would test it out. They're sesame dumplings. Cool. Yeah, I'll try them. <laughs> hey, those are pretty good. Yum! Loving the crispy outside and chewy inside. And they're not too sweet. Good job. These would go really well with tea. I'll go make some right now. Wait, I'll help you. Wow, are they really that amazing? All right, I'll try. Mm. That is definitely a very chewy inside. It's not too sweet or spicy. It's... <laughs> what happened? Are you okay? Oda, what did you do? Really make all those dumplings? Uh, of course. Uh, except I only made three of them. Where'd the others come from? By the way he's acting, I'd say that Himiji tried her own version of the recipe. <laughs> that was close, like food Russian roulette, except with 50 50 odds. <laughs> that kind of stuff only happens to him. <laughs> the day of the school festival had finally arrived. Chinese Cafe of Europe. What would you like? Is there a doctor in the house? Who knows CPR? Oh, wait. You've seen this already. Yoshi, we don't have enough people in the kitchen. Do you think you could help us out? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I guess I'll do it myself. Thank you very much. Come again. Welcome to Chinese Cafe of Europe. We're trying to figure out who our customer's favorite waitress is. Please fill out our survey and turn it in to me when you leave. Check it out. It totally looks like a cafe in there. I know. We're getting so many customers, too. Those new desks are as good as ours. Hey, how long do you expect us to wait? Hey, Pinky, hurry it up, huh? I don't have all day to spend in here, you know. What? I'm sorry. I'll be right there. Please don't leave yet. Uh, seriously, we've been here forever. What kind of jacked-up cafe is this? Why are we the ones waiting on you? Hello? Uh, really sorry. I'll be there in just a minute, okay? Douchebags, why are they acting like that? Third year guys, trying to give her a hard time. This sucks. I'm freaking hungry. Do I have to go cook it myself? Huh. Well, at least that's a start. <laughs> Ow. Yummy. It's like a crispy gumball exploding in my mouth. It feels like a Chinese wonderland. <laughs> This is bad! 300 jewels, charge! 300, roger that. Three, two, one. That was a close call. You've done this before. I tend to live my life very close to death. Very deep. What just happened in here? Whoa, no way. Idiots. What kind of freak eats the display food? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm alive! What was in that? You little punks. Are you trying to kill us? Get over here! <laughs> Come on, survival mode. Help me out here. Congratulations, you two. You won. You hit the jackpot. Wait, what do you mean? We win a prize or something? Like cash? The hell is it? Of course you guys win a prize. It's better than cash. It's, uh... One of these? Yeah. I don't want that. You 
won't get away with this. No way. We're gonna close this dump down. Oh, please. We didn't force you to eat those. Shut up. Who's in charge? <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm Yuji, the class rep. Sounds like you're not having a good time. What seems to be the problem? Uh, well, for one, my buddy just got punched out for no reason. We were negotiating. They always say to start things off with a punch, don't they? I'm gonna punch you in the head, you bastard! <laughs> and then, your follow-through should always kick it up a notch. <laughs> Man, that freaking hurt. <laughs> Tsunamura! Hey there, how's it going? And now, to close the deal, I offer up my pro wrestling backbreaker hold. You don't have to. I think I kind of get it. Okay, bye! <laughs> and now, negotiation complete. That's a pretty intense lock he's got. He really Carl gotched his face off. Goodbye. Thank you so much for coming in. Why is it all slow all of a sudden? It's sort of weird. We should be getting a lunch rush. It won't be good if it stays like this. Hello, Hello and welcome. welcome! What the? Hey, you guys! Yummy! Kazuki, <laughs> so good to see you. Thanks, you too! I came to help you with the festival. What do you want me to do? Tell me! Thank you. That's so nice. Sure, anything for you. Besides, you're my future husband. It's my job. Remember? How could you forget our very first kiss? Hey, what am I doing on the floor? Coda, I need forks. Five should be enough. I need some too, so get ten, please. No! <laughs> Quiet! We are about to start the Inquisition. Survey says death penalty. <laughs> Sorry you came all the way out here. As you can see, we're pretty dead right now. Not sure what happened, but I doubt anyone else will be coming at this point. We appreciate it. We just don't have anything for you to do. Okay, but I really wanted to wear a Chinese dress like you get to. <laughs> This is the cafe Hazuki was talking about. Doesn't seem like anything shady is going on. We did just get here. Welcome home, Master. It's good to see you. Shoko, you look so pretty in that. Thank you. I know. I won't let you leave. I've missed you so much. Miss me. It's time to go, Yoshi. Would you like a menu? Thanks. Let's see. I will have... Water, please. Certainly, sir. What can I get you, Master? To start, you can explain this to me. Our list of specials. First is a honeymoon with a maid. Dinner and make out with a maid. Or just sweet kisses with a maid. Supplies are limited. I suggest you order quickly. Screw that! Now this is what I'm talking about. It puts that Chinese joint to shame. I'm already 1,000% sold. Class F sucks. Dude, I know, right? That place smelled like fish and piss. Man, the waitresses couldn't have been uglier. Also, can we talk about the name? The Chinese Cafe of Europe? <laughs> hey, holes, none of that's true. Yeah, the name was kind of lame. I'm going after them. 
No, you're not. Not right now, anyway. Our reputation is bad enough as it is. Don't be such an idiot. Then what do you suggest we do? Let me see. Shoko, we need to borrow your maid costume. My pleasure. Ah! Not now! What are you doing? You said you wanted me to take my maid costume. I did not! You're crazy! I just said we wanted to borrow it, like later. I have an extra one. Will you quit acting like I did something wrong? So, uh, what's the dress for anyway? For Hideyoshi. He's about to be a big help to us. Gotcha! I see where you're going. What do you think? Does this look womanly enough? You are hot, man. It's almost stupid how hot. It's the makeup. I picked up a few tricks here and there. Wait, is that a bra? The best performances require full commitment, right down to the underwear. Panties <laughs> too? Seriously, I don't know why anyone would torture themselves by going there in the first place. Except maybe other members of Class F who are used to the stench. <laughs> Can I help you, gorgeous? Damn, you're hot. Hey, how are you doing? A little road powder? <laughs> I'm in trouble. No way. You're that dude from Class F. Damn it. Anyone degrade a woman like that, and in public too. That is BS. We were just defending ourselves. I don't want to hear it. I saw your buddy try to give her a tea twister. Ah, that pervert snapped off my bra. Uh, what the hell? Why won't it come off? Look at uh, man. Talk about desperate. That is so. Now what it looks like. We gotta get out of here. You're all a bunch of tools. Hey, hold it. Looks good, but if it isn't authentic, it won't have the same effect. I just need to find something scarier in general. Bastards! They're not gonna get away with this! They're begging for us to make them pay for that crap, and I don't care if it takes us all year! What do we do? I have an idea. Follow me. Come on! What happened here? I must have fallen asleep and had a nightmare, except after seeing that. I suppose the way to reverse that is to think of something beautiful. Sweet Yoshi far too much. That girl's face. I could have sworn it was... No. What is wrong with me? Am I trying to mask my feelings for Yoshi by imagining his eyes on a beautiful girl? Why didn't I get her name? I know why. Because I've got Yoshi. But I still should have talked to her like any other testosterone-filled man would have done. No. Yoshi is all the woman I need. What am I supposed to do? Whatever it is, do it fast. Hello there. Thanks for coming. around the school? That's weird. Why do they keep the cameras so low like that? Because that's where I keep them. <laughs> I've set up video monitoring in 32 places throughout the school. I don't see them. Do you think they left? I set up audio, too, in 57 places. Check that. Maybe we can hear them. Now you're 
day of the refreshing festival for the school year. Did we make anything today? Or... Whoa! After we pay everything off, we have exactly enough to buy new decks! <gasps> really? But hold on, what are these huge sales from? Wow, that's a lot. Over 500 sold? Photo Collection A of Exclusive Shoot by Coda Trading and Company? All sold out. Limited edition. Well, in any case, Today was a total success. Princess Peahead, congrats! I'm proud of you. Oh, thanks. You too, Azuki. You helped us out a lot today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, a lot of those sales were because of our hot waitresses, too. You guys were the main attraction. All right. The votes have been counted. So I checked them twice to make sure, and the winner is... This is very important. I went to talk to the principal today about your equipment. She said she'll consider this a special case and will allow you to use your profit. I'm not done! There's one condition. There will be a summoner test tournament on the second day of the festival. The only team who will be allowed to purchase the new equipment will be the one that wins. I don't even know what that means. It's a random tournament between two selected teams. They'll know nothing about each other except that they'll be enemies. That sucks! What do you think? Should we do it? Tough question! Of course we should! If you want to participate, come up with a team and register! Now go away! Year 2, Class F carried on into the next day. Speaking of dreams, here comes someone who is chasing one of his own. I can't help but wonder who she was. Check it out. I'll give you a deal if you like it. Uh, that, that's her! Uh, yes, how much? Hey there, Koda. Are you slinging smut? Yoshi, no! <laughs> She's not it! It doesn't mean anything to me, I promise! Believe it or not, Akihisa Yoshi was studying. I gotta win that summoner test tournament tomorrow, no matter what. 
We have to, for Himachi's sake. We can't lose. Now then, I'll start with Japanese history. I don't suck at that. You're studying so hard. Good boy. What do you want? I'm a nice sister who wants to help you. My initial plan was to make something homemade for you to eat. But I didn't have a lot of time, so I hope this instant ramen will be good enough. Wait, what's that? It's mayonnaise. I wrote on it to let you know I put my whole heart into making it so you'd be able to put your whole heart into studying. Oh, how nice! I will never back down from a challenge! Thank you! <sighs> this soup kind of reminds me of that Szechuan style super spicy ramen, except not nearly as spicy. It's sour, but at the same time has a flavor that might be from a fruit or a vegetable. What the hell else was in there? At first I wrote on the noodles with ketchup, but then it got all dissolved on me. I think you forgot it's supposed to be soup. Well, would you rather have rice balls instead? Sure, they're normal enough. Okay, it's wrapped with a piece of seaweed that still smells like the ocean. Maybe that's why it has so much salt in it. The rice is cut slightly sweet and fluffy salt, but this texture is... Well... Hey, Akita, why is the texture of this rice ball not the same as, like, a regular rice ball? Don't worry. I already know what you're going to say to me, Aki. You've heard of that Spanish dish called paella before, haven't you? Yeah, it's kind of my favorite meal ever. To make paella taste the way it's supposed to, they cook the rice al dente, which means they don't let it get soft. I put my heart into not cooking the rice so it'd be just like your favorite meal ever. And voila! Look at me. Apparently I did it perfect. The rice is al dente, right? <laughs> mysteries, isn't it? Second day of the refreshing festival. Okay, guys. This is how much we sold. And now, with all the money we made, we can buy some new desks and stuff. Not so fast. We can't buy anything until we get approval. To get that approval, we have to win the summoner test tournament. It's this random style tournament with two-person teams that fight other two-person teams. Imaji and Minami will be our main duo, and Yoshi and I will play as their backup. Does that mean the rest of us don't have to do anything? Not at all. We need you and Koda. You two will have a separate mission. Sounds good to me. We'll so rock this. Hey, if we do really well, we might be able to make everyone respect Class F a little bit more, too. We have to win if we want to stop Himiji's parents from making her switch schools. You promised to study. Please tell me you were telling the truth, Aki. Unless you bring up your scores in the recovery test before the tournament starts, you're not going to be able to compete, you know? I'm good. I studied with an extra emphasis on Japanese history. That's great. Here, check this out. I don't get it. Japanese history isn't on the list for the tournament. What the hell? Why did no one tell me that? We will now get the Summoner Test Tournament underway! Hooray, we're here today at the Summoner Test Tournament. It's the main event of this year's refreshing festival. Any thoughts you'd like to share with us, Miss Takahashi? My predominant thought is I'd like to see our students do their best. In the blue corner, from year two, class F, Yuji Sakamoto and Akihisa Yoshi. It's on like Donkey Kong. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't give up just because you probably already made us lose. And in the red corner! You see? Stop being a chick. We're starting with Class E. Those guys are almost as stupid as you are. That's true. I guess we fought them before, so we might win if we don't screw up too much. Year 2, Class B, Ritsuko Iwashita and Mayumi Kikari. What? They changed it. We have to fight Class B? <laughs> Hold the phone! What's going on here? I thought we were supposed to fight someone from Class E. Sorry, I'm not really sure what happened. Is there a problem? Oh, looks like there's some kind of mechanical issue. Well, then take care of it. We've got other matches, too. They're idiots. At least we'll win. Yeah, might as well get it over with. Wow, this was sure unexpected. What are we gonna do, Yuji? No choice. We're gonna win this thing. So what do you think will happen, Miss Takahashi? We've just started the tournament, so many of the battles will be similarly unbalanced. This one is F versus B, so I highly doubt it'll be much of a fight. The subject for this round is... Bam! Begin! Expect as much from Class B. Our turn. Summon. Nicely done, Yuji. How come you have such a high score? Isn't it obvious? 
I've been studying non-stop since I found out we needed to win the tournament. We have to beat Class A? Yuji, you really think we'll go that far? We have to. For Shoko? She asked me where I want to have our wedding. This is it. If I don't win, my life might as well be over. I've got to show her I'm the one in charge for once. Yeah, but I don't think we can beat them. Dude, you're in the same boat as me. Now pull yourself together and get on board, dammit! Okay, Yuji, let's take those B-girls down. Summon! Not with that score, we won't. Shut up! I can't help it! Oh, look, they're no match for us. Are you as shocked as I am? I can barely contain myself. We should give them a break and end it fast. Rikiko! <laughs> Mayumi! Ready, set, go! How nice. You seem to be in sync for the most part. For a couple of chicks who are acting like they're not frenemies, you girls are pulling off a bang-up job. Prepare yourselves, ladies, because you're about to get a load of real teamwork right in the face. All right, Akisa. Yuji, they're, they're all, all yours. yours. You can't leave it up to each other that no one's doing anything. You took my line, you demented bonehead. So, it appears our teamwork may be on par with yours after all. What? Aki, shut up. It's time for some strategy. Uh, strata what? While Akihisa attracts one of the girls' attention, you can make your move and take down the other one. How can I do that? Both of those people are me! Be like that then. Fine, I guess we can just fight together. We're supposed to fight together. I'll be in charge of the attacking. You do what you can to be the shield. What if I do that? I'm gonna get hurt! I feel what happens to my avatar, remember? You don't understand the term team player. Since you don't get it, we'll have to fight head to head. What a great idea. <laughs> Probationary student Takahisa is accustomed to using his avatar for chores. That has made him quite adept at moving his avatar quick as hell. All right, my turn. <laughs> yes, how you doing, bro? <laughs> Responsible response I can have is to hope the Sakamoto Yoshi duo loses. You what? Go there! Yay. The winner is the Sakamoto Yoshi team in the blue corner! Oh my god, that was awful! I have never been so embarrassed in my entire life! Oh man, people can be so harsh sometimes. We won, won this round. round, yay! And so, battle after battle was fought in the first round. The losing teams were disqualified. In the blue corner from year two, class F, Yuji Sakamoto and Akihisa Yoshi. Up against year two, class C, Kyoji Nomoto and Yuka Koyama. We're fighting class B again? That's not fair. So we're taking on Nomoto. Yoshi and Sakamoto? No, how did we end up with you? What are you scared of, Kyoji? They're two of the dumbest kids in the whole school. You know this battle is, like, totally in the bag. Yeah, I'm aware of that. The subject this round is... English! Begin! Shut up! Kyoji? How can I help you, Aki? You said you'd been studying non-stop so we could beat Class A! And only study one subject at a time! We both have crappy scores! What are we gonna do now? Calm down, bro. I've got an idea that just might help us win. Hey, Koda. The journal, please. Uh, what journal? Kyoji Namoto's photo collection. Please take a look at the new me. Namoto, after losing a previous summoner test war, was forced to dress like a woman while Koda photographed. Koda has since gathered the photos and put them together in a less than flattering collection. I think this should help with the negotiations. I see. I still haven't forgotten how awful he was to Himeji. Okay, let's nail him with it. Nomoto! If you don't want us to pass out this photo collection, you better listen up! Back down! <gasps> what do you mean? Don't tell me you're gonna let him off! Give me some credit, dude. 
Nomoto, take a look at this! Just me in a trap! You win this one, Sakamoto. We surrender. You guys are officially the winners of this round, man. Just don't, don't show those pigs! Is that what you want, Koyama? Do we win this round? You win. We don't want to fight anymore. The winner is the Sakamoto Yoshi team in the blue corner! Please, Yuka, you have to let me explain. Yoji? We're so breaking up. Oh, please, no! Bummer. Thus, the second round ended on a high note. Good job. Way to go. Good job, yeah, I'm happy for you. You're the smartest idiot ever. That's so sweet, Asuki. How did you guys do, anyway? We did well. We won, too. A piece of cake. That's so awesome. Wouldn't it be cool if both our teams made it to the finals? This is strange. You mean, like... Specifically? Why'd we only fight smart classes? I figured it was just bad luck since it's all picked randomly. It didn't seem that random to me. Hideyoshi, Koda, prepare our next strategy. Roger. Sure, you can count on us. What strategy? If I'm right, the next team we're up against will have even higher scores than the last one. In the red corner from Year 2 Class A, Shoko Kurishima and Yuko Kudosha. Big surprise. They're putting us up against Class A. Told you so. Yeah, you did. Good call. Yoshi, like a boss. I get it. Yoshi totally traded places with his sister. It was a strategy for twins, wasn't it? Did you honestly think that would happen? Need hmm? Yoshi? I don't think so. I'm not an idiot like he is. Sorry, that was my bad, you guys. What the hell? You forget. I know how you think, Yuji. Now I have no choice. It's time for our trump card. Our trump card? Are you saying you have a plan? I am. Now then, I want you to say word for word exactly what I tell you to. Sounds good, man. What do you want me to say? I'll do whatever it takes. Shoko, I have something I want to tell you. Shoko, Shoko I, have I have something I want to tell you. you. I want to win this tournament no matter what. I want, I want to, to win, win this, this tournament, tournament no matter, matter what. what. And if I do, and if I, I do, I swear, I will propose to you, Shoko. What the hell? Why would you want me to say something like that? Judo chop! And if I do, I swear I will propose to you because I love you, Shoko! How awful, we just lost. Bad, Shoko! Fine, I'll fight these jack wagons by myself! This round's subject, health and physical education, begin! Yeah, well, I've got another plan. You're going down. Wait till you get a load of my avatar this time, fool. Summon! Summon! Summon. See that? Summoning a substitute. Go ahead and beat that killer technique if you can. They are totally cheating. This is so not good! Huh? I love you! Help me, Shoko! We'd like to withdraw. Bad, Shoko, no! Since the team in the red corner withdrew, the winner is the Sakamoto Yoshi team in the blue corner!
Psycho, it's time to die. It's time to die. Except we might think it's rude if you go easy on us. Please don't. If we fight seriously, I'll be in pain from Avatar feedback. Kill the traitor. Kill him. We're on the same team, so why do I feel like I'm playing an away game right now? There's no reason to freak out, dude. We're just gonna lose fast and walk away. You will not be forgiven if you lose on purpose. Choco! You did swear to me we'd get engaged if you won this tournament, right? So if you lose on purpose, we'll get married now. Either way, I'm getting punished! What are we gonna do, man? We have to win. There's nothing else we can do at this point. But how are we supposed to beat them? They've got better scores! The subject this round, classic Japanese, begin! <laughs> She might as well already be dead. Might as well. Okay, then. Let's get them. Okay. Summon! Seriously? I feel bad about it, if that helps. You guys need to give up, so quit running away from us. Let us send you to the afterlife with a single blow. Yeah, as great as that sounds, if I let the two of you beat me right now, I might actually die from the pain. Focus. Find a way to block Himiji's weapon, and let me take care of them. Right. I'm on top of it. Here it goes! <laughs> Seriously. Cool. The final battle will be held in front of the rest of the student body. Believe it or not, one of the teams in this battle is from Class F, commonly known as the Stupid Ones. Apparently, we may have to revise our previous perception of this particular class from this point on. Maybe not. Their opponent is the duo from Year 3, Class A. Duo from Year 3, Class A? In the right corner, from Year 3, Class A, Shunpei Natsukawa and Yusaku Sunimura. Fighting the Sunakawa duo? That doesn't seem fair. Not at all. How did you fatheads make it this far? Welcome to the end, Jokers. I hate that guy. We're gonna crush you, morons, until we can't crush you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you still have a bra on your head! I know, it won't come off! Pervert alert, yo! You're the one who put it on me, eh? Hey, cheaters. Yeah, we know the truth. What? We do? You guys have been fixing our opponent selections this whole time, haven't you? What? We were trying to put you out of your misery as fast as possible. Didn't want you to get embarrassed. Even though it's a shock you made it this far, at least we'll be able to settle our score from yesterday. Fine with us, asshats. Let's rumble! Guess what? English is going to be our subject this round, and that happens to be my forte. Prepare for battle! Say what? Wait, how come it's not English? Nicely done, Coda. Easy as pie, fellas. You ready, man? Yeah, we get to pull the strings this time, and the handicap shouldn't be too much for you. Go! Summon! Summon! What the no! what? Their scores are even with ours! Well, he normally only has like 60 points at the most! He did study! Go get him, boys! You better be ready, because we're not holding back! Bring it on! <laughs> in our experiences. Wait a minute. 
minute. You're a probationary student, aren't you? Wow, so all those hits on your avatar must have hurt you, too. <laughs> Together, man. You can still fight, can't you? Hell yeah. Poor loser doesn't have anything left. I guess I might as well finish him off. Cheaters. Shut up! We're the ones who are gonna rat out your cheating to every teacher in school. Yeah, we can't be the winners. <laughs> no one can! <laughs> They're heading to the PA system. They're going to expose us. Hold on. If they do that, they'll get our win taken away for sure. Akihisa, uh, of course. There. I need to borrow this real quick. Stop! What are you gonna do? not ruin this for us. We have to win the championship so we can buy stuff to make our class look better. <laughs> no one is gonna make Kimachi change schools! I swear it! <laughs> Nailed it! Yes, you did, Aki. Just enough left to buy a few small tables at best. Clearly we got ahead of ourselves. Looks like it. I wonder what's gonna happen with Himaji now. Hi everyone! Himaji. Oh hey, what's up girl? Where you been? I was just talking with my father for a little bit. You mean your father saw the tournament? Well that can't be good. No, actually it was fine. My father said if I want to stay here I need to study hard. And that I probably need to work on my physical strength too. Are you serious? I am. He also said I have really great friends. <laughs> right about that. Explain. This is all just a nasty misunderstanding. Can we start over? Please listen, please. Don't walk away. Please come back to me, Yuka. Yuji, your promise. It's time to propose. Damn it. 
You can't torture a person into marriage. That'll never hold up in court. <laughs> Kinda wondering if you'd I mean we'd like maybe I win a folk dance! Come on, stupid! Okay, I would love to dance with you, Hazuki. You stole our dance from us. How could you, Akihisa? How? I don't think I'll ever understand chicks, man. <laughs> Cheeks blushing from the burning flames, the students held their hearts close, even if they were on their sleeves. And the night wore on. The end.